Hey there, sugar bunnies. How is everybody today? Hello there, Anna Banana. Hello, Chloe Davis. Hello, just your everyday weird. Hi, E Green. Hi, Wild Wit. I think you might be new, maybe. I think I might have seen you last stream, not sure. Hello, Sherlock Homeless. Hello, Leafeon Gamer. Oh, we've got a Pokemon fan. <laughs> good, awesome. It's Saturday. It's usually a good day for most people when it's Saturday. Hello, Fire Angel. Oh no, on low battery. I had to charge some of my things too. Um, but, so today is the last uh, giveaway day in the month of March, so it is the big giveaway, and I'll be doing this every month, so if you got your name in the um, bunny at any point during the month of March, I have saved all the different entries, and I have put them into another bunny, the other bunny I have. So they are all in there, and today's entries, uh, if you get your name in there today, I will also be adding those to the other bunny. So um, it is repeat winners, but um, if I draw a name twice for the monthly giveaway, then I'll draw a different name. So you can only win one time for the monthly, but you can win the weekly and then the monthly. So um, I guess at the end of the stream, I'll explain a little bit more if you guys still have questions. So um, I was actually messaged and asked if I could open up this Jojo Siwa blind bag first. So I guess that is where we will start. So this, I've shown you guys, I have a bunch of these to open. I have opened one already. I did get the rainbow one, and I think it was blue or pink, but I don't remember. Um, so there are two bows included. They are secret bows. They're not made by um, her accessories, which make the bigger bows. The, these are made by Just Play. There is no hack for these other than for these ones, I believe, like the glitter ones, you can feel it is a little bit different. It sounds a little bit different if you rub it in the package. So I've never seen these in a box. They've always just been in a little crate, kind of, like one of the bins that Walmart has. And I've only found these at Walmart, not Target. So if you're looking for those, that's where you gotta go is Walmart. Um, the little emblem on it is also not metal. It is painted. So from the other mini bows that, um, Bullseye Toy actually makes. They've got the two-pack blind bag that's more circular and also the five-pack with the box. I do have videos of those too. Those have the metal things. These are just the um, the painted on ones and the clips are different too as you'll see. So we're we'll going to open this first. <laughs> and Banana is wearing the Jojo bow that I sent her. She won and so just looking for a good way to open this. Oh it's pink on the inside. All right, I guess I'm gonna cut across the top. I like to save as much of the package as I can, just because if there's stuff to look at, like a checklist, which it does kind of have a little mini checklist, and I have to cut off a lot of this. There, okay, so there is a lot cut off, but we can still kind of see what we had. But there's no checklist inside. There you go. I got a glittery one. So it's a rainbow glitter, and I have one very similar to this in the bigger bow, but as you can see, that emblem is just painted on. It's not, um, it's not metal. So, and you can see part of the bow, even through the center, so. But it is glittery itself, which is a little bit different from what the, um, the other ones were. The other ones that I've seen, that you can see this one's kind of holographic. The other ones were just like a gray on the bigger ones with the little hair that they have at Target. So I also got the blue, the plain blue, but look at the clip, it is not metal and I have to say I'm not super impressed with these, they look kind of cheap to me, but um, what I did like about these is say you wanted to use these for like shoelaces, this will fit like through a couple things rather than just having it clipped on so you can actually put stuff between this, something thick like a shoelace without it like not sticking very well. So I thought that was good. So these will work good for like if you put them on the end of your shoes or on a, like the keychain part of your backpack. So um, it's a little bit different. Um, and it also would work if you have like really thick hair and you were gonna put it like at the end of a ponytail. So yep, that's what we got in here. We got the glitter one, which like a, if you can you rub the package, you'll feel that it's glittery and it sounds different too. So a little bit of glitter came off on me. But a glitter one and a blue one. So there we go for that. <laughs> I know you guys have been wondering what's been in this, so. 
How much was this? This was $5, you guys. <laughs> yeah, this was $5, which I think is a little bit much for the two bows, considering that they're not the metal clips. The um, metal clip ones are only $5 as well, but um, yeah, I would rather get the other kinds over these, but um, I did want to get these to show you guys, so. And I did already get a lot, <laughs> but um, uh, let's see. Um, they do look kind of cheap, but it's still smaller than the giant bows. It is. But the giant bows are even $5. Just not, not the giant bows, but the regular size bows. They are $5. So, I don't know. Some of them at Walmart. So other ones, that I actually have the new ones, are $7. So, and then other places, they're more. So Walmart's the best place, unless you can find them online for cheap. But, alright, so we have three questions coming. Are you guys ready? And it says, check out the video that I made. And um, if you want me to see your video, don't forget to send it to me. Um, you can either send it to me on Instagram or on um, by email. That would be the best way. So let's see, let's see. Oh, Anna Vanessa's ripoff. Yeah, I think that's kind of a little bit of a ripoff. But yeah, if you want to collect everything JoJo, then you just kind of deal with it, huh? So um, Wild Wit is Mrs. Fansville. Okay, okay. In Australia, you have those, but the shape is oval and it's $9. Oh, okay, yeah, you probably have the ones by Bullseye Toy. I'll show you guys again real quick. Where'd I put it? I don't even know where I put the package. Oh, no, I found it. So, yeah, the ones um, that are oval are made by um, Bullseye Toy. This is Just Play. So, double check that because they are metal clips and I think they're a little bit better. So, all right, here is our three questions, guys. Get your fingers ready. Get them on there. All right, here's question number one. In Disney's movie Tangled, Flynn Rider is always complaining because on wanted posters, they can never get his what right? What does he always say they get wrong when they put his face on a wanted poster? <laughs> I see a couple people got it. All right, so the answers are coming in, and the first one with the correct answer was Fire Angel with nose, and then Dana Usted with nose. Yes, he is always complaining that they get his nose wrong. Right, right after that was Just Your Everyday Weird, then Kylie Sparkles, then Kika's World, then Grace the Toy Princess, then Wild Wit, then Erica Evelyn, then Gracie Lee, Chloe Davis, and then a few more. So that's the order that I see him, so I'll get them in there, Fire Angel. And then Dana Usted. And if you're just joining us, welcome. If this is your first time here, um, down in the description box is actually um, everything you kind of need to know. Prizes and how to enter and what we're doing today, what we're opening, and yeah. So but if you still have any questions, you can go ahead and ask, and either I or someone that's been here before will probably help you out. So, all right, question number two, guys. How many ounces are in a quart? How many ounces are in a quart? How many ounces are in a quart? And this is fluid ounces. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know why it's hiding them. Some of them they're hiding. So naturally the thing is hiding them, but I am approving them. So, all right. Um, all right, Kay. the first person that I see is Felicia Loves You, and she has 32. Then Kylie Sparkles with 32. Kika's World said three. Just Everyday Weird said 32. Chloe Davis said 40. Gracie, uh, the Toy Princess at 32. Then Ruby, then Fire Angel, then Gracie Lee gets 40. Dana Stead said 37. Anna Banana said 32. Then uh, Hafsa McCoy said 32. But the first two for this one, and I only grabbed one paper, I don't know why, were Felicia Loves You and then Kylie Sparkles. So, good job, you guys. It is 32 fluid ounces in a quart. There you are. I'm getting glitter on me. <laughs> All right, next question, you guys. You ready? 
Um, I have everything all mixed up, but I have them on a card already written so I don't skip around and miss any. So um, they're just in the order that I've already written them, guys. Sorry. Um, all right, here you go. What movie won the 2019 Kids' Choice Awards for Favorite Animated Movie? So what movie won the 2019 Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Animated Movie? You guys watch the Kids' Choice Awards. This is really helpful. <laughs> See, do we have anybody? There was a lot of stuff that won there. So I see some that were nominated, but which one won? Oh, thank you, Hafsa McCoy. They like my pen so much. All right, I see one. Do I see two? One and... Oh, nope, I see, okay, I finally found two. All right, so I see a lot of people writing uh, Wreck, uh, Wreck It, like Ralph Breaks the Internet. I keep on wanting to say Wreck It Ralph, but Ralph Breaks the Internet. No, they didn't win, but they were nominated. The actual movie that won was The Incredibles 2. So um, the first one with that was Grace the Toy Princess. Grace the Toy Princess. There you go. And then the next one was, let's see, scroll down. Chloe Davis with Incredibles 2. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph was nominated. I actually personally, sorry guys to anybody who did, I wasn't really thrilled with that movie. How many of you guys have seen it? I wasn't super fond of it. Um, it was very disappointing. There was, you know, the, the preview where <laughs> the bunny gets the pancakes, but um, it wasn't, it was in the very end of the movie. It was like, oh, what about that scene that was in the, um, the trailer? and. Then they played it kind of like afterwards. So the movie wasn't even that vibe that it gave. It wasn't like that at all. So it was more serious and some parts were weird. The first movie was definitely better. So this is one of those movies where they should have just stuck with the first one and left it alone. To, my, to me, in my opinion. So it, I was disappointed. But um, there, I mean, that preview, it was like if it was going to be cute and cheerful like the first one. But it was like, I don't know, darker to me just more serious and then the whole thing about what was going on I don't want to spoil it for anybody but the whole thing that was going on it was sad so like the whole movie you were like bummed it was about like loss but understanding and then it was I don't know it just was not my favorite so um all right that was three questions and let me okay I gotta write down a name real quick but uh, I am seeing someone said Moj Moj. All right, so we will open up the Moj Modes next. I've never opened up one of these. This is a Moj Moj Min. Um, let's see, it's having trouble getting, still looks blurry to me. Okay, so Moj Moj Min. Um, it has like the character and then you squeeze it and a little thing pops out. So I don't think it's filled with liquid, but I mean, I've seen them and they kind of look like they are, but they're not, if that makes sense. So it just is like filled with air, but the way it pops out, that little character, um, it looks like it's filled with water. So um, I grabbed one with the like teal green blue bottom, but it's in a bag So I don't think there's any hack to it really maybe a full box hack, but I don't know I haven't seen anyone do it, but this is series like star in a balloon. I don't know So we'll see. I know some people are not impressed with the other Moj Moj, but this is like they changed the idea of it It's not like a mash on this time around or anything a mash I'm filled with anything, but it's something different so We'll see how this goes. All right. Oh, and it comes with stickers. I hope that didn't give it away. All right, so inside we've got something gray. What is it? Okay, it's like a gray bear, I guess. So there you go. See, look how that looks. Doesn't it look like it's filled with water? But it's not. Okay, here. 
So it's got like a little cheetah. It's like really, oh, I'm messing it up. I was gonna say it's like really, um, really, really see-through. So it's like a little cheetah bear. I don't know, but it's just air and it's really thin. So it looks really cool. It even looks cool on camera. So there you go. So in the display, they actually show it like just the character, the big one, and then the little one out of it. So it's it surprised me when I saw somebody unbox it and it like was like this because it's separated in the display. So you don't get to do this. Oh, he's stuck out. So it's a little bit different, a little bit. Oh, it's cool, but it's odd at the same time. Mine's turned around. Okay, I fixed it. There we go. And there it is. So, and it's pretty cool to do that. Sometimes it gets stuck like that. It gets stuck out. But um, let's see what else. There are stickers. So it's not what it came in it. Not that kind of sticker. Doesn't match. But they're cute. And then a little cord. I guess to hang it up so you could put it through, loop it, and um, hang it from something if you wanted, but it did come with a checklist, so that's really good because if there's a bunny one, you know I want that one, and it's cool to see it. Comes a little poster on the one side though. There's over 30 to collect and trade. I don't know why they don't just tell us like how many because they say like 30 plus, like they know exactly how many. Like they have to be a mystery, like maybe it's like 32. 33. There is a little bunny with a cactus, I think. Yeah, I think that's a cactus with a little flower on it. That's like perfect for where I am right now. I'm in the Arizona desert, so. But here we go. Oh, it doesn't actually, like there it is. It comes with like a rainbow. So, okay, there's foodies. Oh, that's gotta be like Cookie Swirl C. I've seen a lot of places they try to put a chocolate chip cookie and you know they're trying to play at Cookie Swirl C. We know what they're up to. And then, Popconics. Okay, so I got a Popconic, which is right here, this one. Um, this one's got a bunny. That would have been really good. This is like a little cow with a little baby cow, I think. That's cute. Oh, there's a couple with bunnies here. And the cow, cow costumes. Okay, so it's Dotted Duo. Why was it mine in the Dotted Duo? Because I've got a Dotted. I don't get it. It should have been in there because it's a dotted animal. This one's dotted. That would have made more sense to match those two up. But alright, Zoo Squad. Oh, I like the zebra. There's a sloth with a bunny. That's really cute. And then the Otips, O-T-P-S. O-T, what does that stand for? Otips. I don't know, like octopus? I have no idea. But there's a bunny. That's cute. That's a bunny. There's no like, oh maybe that's supposed to be a bunny bunny because they kind of like whited out part of the ear. So maybe that was like a bunny. And then adorbs, yeah of course. It's a unicorn so they are adorable. And Norwal, panda, there's a panda. And then a koala I believe and I don't know like a little monster. But those ones are really cute. So I didn't get a rare or anything, it's just like a regular. Where's the rarities? doesn't even show like the rarities but I guess you're just kind of supposed to guess so like there's like the diamond and then there's like the star so there you go full checklist picture for you but I don't know there's no like bunny on bunny so I don't know if I'll be hardcore collecting these or anything trying to get the one I want I might buy a couple more but we'll see we will see <laughs> oh it's stuck I got it. I mean, I could fix it, but it's stuck. It's stuck out, which is pretty cool. And it feels cool when it's out. See, it went in by itself. But yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's a unique idea they came up with. So, all right, let's get on to three more questions. You guys ready? Ooh, Kitty Sam's will just open one of those today. She got the panda. And a banana wants the panda one. I knew you would want the panda one. Casey Rogers is riding in a car right now. <laughs> You guys are watching me while you drive, huh? Mackenzie, it is totally okay. You're never late. You are on time to when you could come. No worries. Hello, Cadence World. And then, um, let's see. Thank you, Wild Wit. She loves my nails. <laughs> I've had these ones before. I think I'm going to change them after today. Also, this background will not be here anymore. I'm going to change my blue polka dotted one. So, next week, it will be different when you see my stream. So, all right, here are our three questions. What is the full name of the damsel in Disney's movie Hercules? So, her full first name. So, what is the full name? The full first name of the damsel in Disney's movie, Hercules. 
Let's see. I know this one's not like as known, and it's a little bit older too, but let's see if you guys know it. Oh my goodness, okay. Ooh, Madeline Darling is eating ice cream. What kind of ice cream? All right. I see one, two, I see a lot of people with the right answer. All right, so the first ones in were Fire Angel with Megara. All right, so there you go, and that's number two. And then the next one was, let's see, Felicia Loves You with Megara as well. And that's number two for you. So, right after Felicia Loves You was Grace the Toy Princess, Just Your Everyday Weird, Kylie Sparkles, Chloe Davis, Anna Banana, Gracie Lee, Dana Usted, Kitty Sam's World um, with Megara. Actually, she said Megan. Honey Waffles said Megara. And then, um, let's see, Wild Wit said, Never seen that movie. I like it. I kind of like it. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. But, um, yeah, all right. So, next question, you guys. What are the two colors of the containers for the new LOL Surprise Bubbly Surprise? So LOL Surprise came out with two new containers, the Bubbly Surprise, um, different colors, kind of similar to the Pearl Surprise, but they are different colors. So what colors are they? Mackenzie said, did you see my song, Sugar Bunny? Mmm. Where was your song? Was it in the last stream are you talking about? Oh no, Ruby, you don't know any of these. Oh dear, there, there's gotta be some you know. Let's see, strawberry ice cream. Ooh, if it's got real strawberries in it, that's really good. I like strawberry ice cream with real strawberries. All right, so I see some colors. Let me see, nope, that's not right. That's correct, that one's not, that one's not, and that one is correct, all right, so. I got an answer, blue and orange, that wasn't right. Anna Banana was the first one to guess orange and pink. So you got it, Anna Banana, you are correct. The colors are orange and pink. I actually just found them a few days ago, the first time I've seen them locally by me. Um, I know that I've seen people um, opening them already months ago, but I had not seen them come to stores, so. I grabbed some, so hopefully I'll be making a video of those uh, soon. And then the next one, I saw blue and pink, that wasn't right. Gold and pink, that wasn't right. Then pink and orange from Grace the Toy Princess. So there you go, Grace the Toy Princess, good job. So that is two for you. And after Grace, I saw blue and orange, that's not right. Pink and blue, that wasn't right. Kitty Zem's World guessed pink and orange, which was right. And then, um, whoa, it skipped down. I missed, everything just went really quick down. Okay, um, blue and orange, and then blue and orange, that wasn't right. Um, purple, pink, nope. Pink and blue, nope. Blue and orange, nope. So, there was a lot of different answers. Um, I do have JoJo questions, but I do have them in the order that I wrote them in so I don't get confused. So they'll come whenever I have them down. So sorry guys. Um, all right, but here's our third question right here. No, it wasn't gold, it's pink and orange. So gold is the original big surprise and then they came out with the, um, the pearl surprise, the two of them, which were purple and like a teal blue. Um, and then they came out with the bigger surprise, which was pink. And then they came out with the bubbly surprise, which is pink and orange. So yeah, there's a lot of big containers that they have. So um, I don't like how they sit on my shelves. They just don't fit right. I like things that are square so I can, you know, fit them all together nicely. So it's a little bit odd, but you know, it's all right. Uh, so our third question. What United States president is on the US $5 bill? Give me his first and last name, guys. <laughs> yes, Jessica Starr, you can enter. Welcome. <laughs> yep, you can still enter. I asked questions and the first two people to comment with the right answer um, get their name entered in. So um, I have a lot of questions left. So the question was, what president, what United States president is on the US $5 bill, first and last name?
Okay, let me see. All right, so the first one that I see is Kylie Sparkles with Abraham Lincoln. So there you go, Kylie Sparkles, you were the first one. Good job. You're killing it today, you got two already. There you go. And then the next one I see A Lincoln, but I was looking for a whole first and last name, but then Anna Banana came in with Abraham Lincoln. So good job. After that I saw Chloe Davis, then Jerry Ladder said um, Obama. <laughs> okay, Jerry. No, it's not Obama. Uh, all right, so it is, well, what was it? Oh, Anna Banana, sorry about that. <laughs> Hey Jerry, do you play Fortnite? Alright, that's your second one, Anna Banana. Alright, and then let's see, I'll read off a few more so you guys know the order I'm seeing them in. Chloe Davis said Abraham Lincoln. I uh, already did that. And then Jerry Letter said Obama. And Gracie Lee said Abraham Lincoln. Grace the Toy Princess said Abraham Lincoln. And Jolly Nanda said Lincoln. I just share everyday weird. Got Abraham Lincoln, Fire Angel, Abraham Lincoln, Kitty Sam's World, Abraham Lincoln, OX4 Life 578. Got Abraham Lincoln, and then we had some more. So, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, dang. Better luck next time, I guess. Yep, Jerry, better luck. So, imagine they put Trump on a bill. Oh, I don't know. They haven't changed. You know, they did change one president. I don't remember which one it was, though. Oh, I don't need to have another piece of paper out yet. So we are done with those three and we'll open up another blind bag. So which one do you guys want to see next? You're from Australia though. I do believe I had that one on my website. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure I had that one on there. A lot of ones that get really specific like that, I do try to put on my website. So. <laughs> All right, I see someone says, Hatchimals. I thought I said dummies, but that was actually Hatchimals was before. So we will open up the Hatchimals. So it is Hatchimals season four Hatch Bright. So I did have the Mermals, which I'm surprised you guys didn't pick because that's like the newest one they have. But this is a one pack, which is like huge for the like one little egg. But you guys should probably know the gist of this. Um, inside is one little egg. You get to rub the heart until it changes color and that means it's ready to hatch. So um, these I've seen, they've gone on clearance at the store. So if you can find them, I don't know if there's a hack. Maybe there's like a full box hack, but if you can find a full box, that's pretty lucky because they have moved on. So, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to open this without messing up the box too bad. You know, actually, I kind of don't care. Probably won't save the box. If it will let me get into it. There we go. So, that's not getting saved. Alright, so the eggs in this series were the pink top with the orange bottom, and then the speckles... Okay, <laughs> maybe it's gonna hatch today. And then the speckles do reflect like what, um, I don't know what they call it, kind of like the club that it's in. So we'll check on the checklist and we'll find out. So it's a uh, light blue speckles, you can see. And this actually looks like it's gonna be like really easy to warm up. And it is, I've had them before where it's like, no matter how long I rubbed it for, I could not get it to change colors. So change to a light pink and it's ready to hatch. So you just press in and pull apart and your little critter will show. So it's almost the same color as the egg. Oh, I thought it was a bunny. I was getting really excited. I was like, oh, thought I had little ears up top, but it's not. That's like a little tuft of hair. So I try to save as much of the egg as I can because I like them. And here we go. It's like a little beaver. So a beaver tail. Oh, and these ones, oh, okay. I won't be able to do it because I'm using my phone right now, but um, I have, I've seen it, you shine the light through the bottom and it lights up. So I've got a, a flashlight, but it's really tall, so you wouldn't be able to see it and it'd be really far away. Sorry guys. So you do get to shine the light through and you can see the belly has like a little hole with a heart. And um, it shines, it's really cute. I love the wings, you guys know I love my little angel wings. And these are purple. Typically I get silver ones, so that's really cute. But um, it's kind of like a peach, it's kind of like a pink lemonade color actually. It's like a peach pink, but um, yeah. So, little beaver, and we'll set him here so he can watch us, but I've got a little egg mess here to clean up. 
And we will find out. You know, I don't know. Sometimes they give you the names of like what the creature is. It's a beaver or something. But I think it's just a plain beaver this time. So garden. And it just has a pink egg, farm, meadow, savanna, jungle, ocean, river. Okay, we're going to be in the river. So it's beavery. I guess it's beavery. I guess they didn't mix it with another creature this time. So yeah, it's the beavery. I believe it's that one. Even though that one's like more pink than mine. Mine's kind of like a pink orange. But they got desert forest, starlight shores, blooming bluffs, radiant reef, and limited edition ones. Midnight masquerade. That's really cute. They come with a little pair of like uh, masquerade glasses. So a mask. And on the back, ooh, okay. So all the different little areas on the map that they live. So... Cloud Clove, I'm not gonna read all those, but there you go if you wanted to see it, so Hatchtopia. But there it goes, their map of the island where they live. All right, so we are on to our next three questions. Oh, did I get a shiny? Someone said I got a shiny. Let me go back and look at that, I didn't realize. Um, okay, Beavery is Purple Wings. Purple Wings is an ultra rare. Oh, wow, okay. That's really cool. I did not know that. Thank you guys for telling me about that. Um, okay, so yeah. So where'd you go? Okay, here you go. So purple wings underneath that means that they are a shiny, I guess. An uh, ultra rare, it says on here, but they said a shiny. So that's pretty cool. It wasn't a common. You know, I like to get the rarer ones. So that's a, that's a good find. Thank you guys for catching that. Um, Denochi says, I'm on vacation right now. Vacation like school vacation? Because I thought everybody was back in school. But um, maybe maybe a vacation somewhere else? Where are you on vacation at? Somewhere cool, Denochi? Kylie Sparkle says they really want to go to the Bahamas. That would be really cool. There's no internet on the boat. Oh no. Um, let's see. Okay, a beaver. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did you like the movie? Oh yes, thank you Wildwit. Yes, Wildwit made a little video for me on Instagram. It was so cute, it was really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, I commented on it, remember? And then let's see. Spring break for me, Pub 313, it's spring break. You were the one that told me, thank you Ruby. <laughs> thank you for looking out for me. I missed that, I totally missed that. And I'm usually like really good about that too. All right, so we've got three new questions for you guys. Are you ready? Here we go. What actor plays Henry Hart, who's also Kid Danger? First and last name, guys. What actor plays Henry Hart, who is also Kid Danger? Wow, that was quick, you guys. All right, so I see two already. So the first one was Jace. Uh, it's, the answer is Jace Norman, but the, and the first one with the answer was Felicia Loves You. So there you go. And that's your third one. And then the second person with the correct answer was Fire Angel. And that's number three. You guys are quick on this. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so right after that, I saw Oh, Madeline Darling says she goes back to school on Monday. Okay, so spring break for some people still. Ruby then said Jace Norman, then Kylie Sparkles, then Gracie Lee, then Chloe Davis, then Just Your Everyday Weird, then Casey Rogers and Kitty Sam's World, Honey Waffles, Chloe Davis. A lot of you guys know this. Speech Fairy says Amelia. I'm not sure who that is. Wild Wit then said Jace Norman, then Anna Banana, then Pup 313, Dana Usted. So, um, all right, there we go. Sorry guys, I, I have I have talked about this before, but um, yeah, it's just I pick at the order that I see it on my screen, and that's why I read it off because it shows different for everybody. So try to be as fair as I can, but it's just easier when I just I finish the stream at the end rather than going back. So and it does show up different. Some people see it that they're first, and a lot of people actually see that they're their own first answers. So sorry, I just try to make it as fair as possible, but that's the best way I guess. So, all right, here's question number two. You ready? I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this question, a question like this. 
What Kids' Choice Award did JoJo Siwa win this year? What's the title of it? So, what Kids' Choice Award did JoJo Siwa win this year? What is the title of the Kids' Choice Award that she won? So, let's get the whole title in there. I see parts of it. Let's get that whole title in there, what the whole thing is called. I see it so close. I see so many different parts of it. It's so specific. It's so specific. Keep guessing, guys. I haven't seen anybody with the full answer yet. So she won favorite what? So close on some of them, so close on some of them. Okay, I see one correct answer. I see one, let me see. All right, I got two, I've got two, okay guys. So the first one that I saw with the favorite social music star, social music star is the correct answer, was um, Fire Angel. So it has to be social music star because if she was just a social star, that's something different. But here you go, Fire Angel, that is number four. And then the next one is, I see social star, social media star, video music star, favorite mus viral music artist, voice social star, social star, favorite social music star. So social music star was Kylie Sparkles. And that's number three for you. There you go. All right, and then after that, I saw, let's see, social media star, then social music star from Kitty Sam's World. Oh no, Ruby, it's okay, keep trying. Don't give up, don't give up. And then um, music social star, um, and then favorite social star, favorite social media star. I think that was supposed to be media, but yeah, there you go, guys. It's favorite social music star, so specific. All right, here you guys go. We have one more question, then we'll open up something. I see someone's already picking Pick Me Pop, so we'll open up that next. All right, here is the last little question for this set. What LOL surprise doll in the Hair Goals Makeover series has green eyes? There's only one that has green eyes here. So what LOL surprise doll in the Hair Goals Makeover series has green eyes? Wild but just keep trying. You can get one. I still have a lot of questions. Wow, oh, Fire Angel didn't watch the Kids' Choice Awards. I didn't watch the complete thing. I saw bits and pieces. All right, so I see one, two. All right, so we've got it. Um, the first one I see is Fire Angel with Skater Girl. So Fire Angel, that's number five. All right, and then the next one I saw, oh, Scatter Girl, oh no! My Kitty Sam's World said Batty, and then Grace the Toy Princess says Batty, nope. Uh, Batty has like gray eyes. And then I see Kylie Sparkles with Skater Girl. So yep, Kylie, you got it. And Kylie, you are doing great today. You've got four already. I think I might have spelled your name with an S at one time, <laughs> but it's okay. We know who you are. All right, so I will show you guys here. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. So no green eyes up here. I love this one. Still don't have it, guys. But there you go. There's Batty and Skater Girl. She's got green eyes. Miss Jive, Daring Diva, Oops Baby, Spatters, Splatters, and Witchy Baby. None of them have green eyes. Just that one. Just Skater Girl. So there you go for that one. Um, after 
Let's see, after Kylie was Gracie Lee real quick, and then Batty, Skater Girl, Bump and a Banana, Jessica Starr said Batty. She has green hair and shoes, so very close, but eyes, eyes, so. All right. I don't know why it hid that one, but I will allow it, so there you go. All right, so that was our third one for that, and we will open up a Pick Me Pop Surprise Domi. So this is my second one. The first one that I opened had uh, purple frosting, I believe, and okay, here, I just, just remember this too. I had like three questions that I said I was gonna ask in this stream. I could only remember two. And I watched through the stream and I like couldn't find it. So one of the two, one of the three questions that I have, I don't have. So sorry, but I do have two of them. So here's this one and I got a llama in the first one, a blue llama. So um, I believe there might be a hack for this based on placement and the color of the frosting but I do not have a full box to open. I've just been grabbing them as I see them at the store. So um, this is the small one, so it doesn't have the little squishy guy in the middle. They've got like a small, which is this, the medium, and then a large one. So I've seen all of them, but I've only gotten the small ones so far. So um, yeah, you can find a limited edition glitzy glaze dummy, and I don't remember how many there are, but I can't really, to be honest, I cannot smell it through there, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to kind of guess, so we'll just open it. Mm. The zipper has failed. Oh, it's better, but then look at, they tricked me, there's two. I remember their trick though. I was prepared. I think this one's thinner than the outer layer too, so it's a little bit easier. <laughs> We're really actually unwrapping it, so here we go. Okay, maybe we can smell it now. No. <laughs> there is no way you're going to smell this through the thing, so um, we'll just open it instead. And there's no bunnies, so... What is this? Is this a cow? Oh my goodness, I think it's a cow. Cows are really cool. Let me see what it smells like. That's really hard. That's really hard. It smells like something like um, fruity, but then like cakey at the same time. Like a fruit, not a fruit cake, but like, I don't know. A cake that's fruit smelling, but not fruit cake. If you know what I mean. <laughs> it sounds a little ridiculous, but yeah. I know what I mean. Hopefully you guys do too. But, bag smells really good. Let's see. It is Graze the Cow. So graze the cow, there we go. And on the back it says, you're a real treat. She smells like powdered sugar, it says. So it's got little sugar cubes. I really like powdered sugar. <laughs> I don't know. I really like it. I like frosting that's made with powdered sugar better than like the store-bought frosting. So you can attach her to this. Oh, she came with one. What in the world? That's so weird. Why did she come with one on already? And then I have an extra one, I guess, because this already has it on too. So maybe in case it gets ruined or lost or they just wanted to give me one. I don't know because I don't remember the last one having one on it. That's a little odd. I don't know, but I have an extra string, guys. <laughs> All right, so here's our checklist. So there are over 40 to collect. Again, why don't you just tell us exactly how many you're gonna make us count. So there are six different cases. I think that I have a missing one kind. I don't know which one I'm missing. So like a light purple and a darker purple, two kind of pink, a light and dark, a green and a blue. So I do have five of the colors, but I am missing one. So here is what they have in the commons. And where is mine? I think mine's a common. Mine's not a common. Rare. Oh, look, mine's a rare. Gray's the cow is a rare. That one's super cute, Zeppo the Hedgehog. The spider's kinda cool, it's a neat idea. There's a lot of cool ones, I like these. What is that, the kangaroo? That would be the closest to the bunny, but look! Limited edition, so there is a little one. A little limited edition bunny. I need that one, you guys. I need it really, really bad. She wants me, she wants me to have her. And then the Jumbo Plus. She might actually be in the, um, the medium sized ones, I thought. And so here, the, these ones are always cool. I've seen, I want to say that I've seen all of these. I have pictures, but I always like run out of time to post things. But yeah, I've taken pictures, and I know I've seen for sure the llama and then the um, unicorn. 
I'm pretty sure I've seen the hedgehog and the cat too though. But I have not grabbed them because they're not bunnies, guys, and I have to stop collecting every single thing. So these are the medium. Okay, no, so those that little bunny does come in a small one, so there's hope yet. I'm gonna have to look and see what color it comes in. But there is the medium dummies and then the sweet peak. So are these like yeah, okay, so you flip up the top. I've seen those. You flip them up. Special edition. And then they have the glitzy glaze super set. And then look, there's the little pick me. So in the medium ones, in the center of it, it has like a little area that you pop out. I think it's on the inside part though. That you pop it out and there's one of these little jelly pick me's inside. So I don't see a bunny. Somebody messed up. They forgot to add a bunny. There's a kitten and a llama. There's a couple couple favorite things for our people in there. And the hippo, the crocodile, the elephant. I'm surprised they don't have like a narwhal or a unicorn. That's really odd. A lot of like, okay, the turtle, the snail, and the crab. They all look kind of the same. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But uh, there we go. So I got the cow and it's rare. Yay. So a cow to add to my llama. And that one was in this colored container. Hopefully, I think that maybe, you know, and it was in the top, in the top, because there's two layers, so it was in the top layer, if that helps. So, fingers crossed if that's one you're trying to get and you end up getting it because you find it that way. So, all right, how are my dogs? My dogs are very good. So, um, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Trying to keep up on the conversation, I'm missing things, so some of these things don't make sense to me. But I'll go ahead and start with the three questions. And here is one that if you were in my last live stream, it will be a little bit easier for you. So in my last live stream, what food did I say that I don't like? There was a very specific food that I said I don't like. What was that food? When did this start? This started right about 1.45, I wanna say. It's almost an hour now. I might kind of go on for a little while. Oh, oops. All right, so. Hello, BBL Blind Bags. Welcome. Look what I just got. It's a cow. I know you guys like the pick me pops. So I got the cow. And if you want to know, it was in a blue one in the top layer of the box. So. This one I said very specifically, I'll say in my next live stream, I don't like. I see so many things and I don't like either of those things. So excited for the new mini brands. Yeah, I love these things. I've only opened up one. All right, so the question was, in my last live stream, what food did I say that I don't like? So I'm beginning to doubt myself right now. <laughs> um, I'm. You know what I'm gonna do for this one? I'm gonna actually, because I'm being forgetful now, I thought I said peanut butter, but you know what? I might have said lamb. So I'll take the first two people that said peanut butter, and then I'll take the first two people that also said lamb. So there's gonna be four entries for this one, guys. So the first two people that I saw said, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lamb was Chloe Davis, because then I started remembering, yeah, I did say I don't like lamb, but I can't even remember now. So Chloe Davis. There you go. Chloe, good job. That's two. And then I see Felicia loves you with lamb as well. Because I know I made a big deal of not making peanut butter, but I can't remember now which one. And I wrote it down like right after. But I'm usually always really tired after the live stream. So, all right. So then I'll take the two that said peanut butter too. All right. So that was Felicia loves you. That was four. And then. The first one that said peanut butter was Kylie Sparkles. And you got five now, Kylie, good job. And I did spell it with an S this time, but we know it's you, it's okay. So that's five and then let's see. And a banana said peanut butter. <laughs> so there you go. And a banana. And that is three on you. So I 
do like cookies, just don't like a lot of cookies. Just so someone's wrote cookies. Um, I like soft cookies. If it's chocolate chip cookies or like a chocolate cookie with like white chocolate chips, like the ones from Subway, those ones are really good. I don't know what the exact name is, but um, and I like Oreos dipped in milk. But I don't like like hard cookies, like a lot of those. I don't like this. So, all right. Yeah, I just can't remember. Yeah, I also don't. Oh, you just reminded me what the question was. Okay, I will write that down. And hold on, you guys. I'm gonna write it down. They just reminded me what it was. All right. I'll ask that as a bonus question at the end. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, there we go. So I actually just thought of something. So, um, you know what food I also don't like? I also don't like sushi. So I'll ask that next live stream. What food did I specifically say I don't like? Sushi. Okay, I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. <laughs> so. What food do I not like? I don't like sushi, guys. You guys can have all the sushi. You can have all of my sushi. So, all right. Here is our next question. <laughs> um, this is your first giveaway video of yours. Well, welcome, Jessica. I did, I did think that you were new here, so welcome. And hello, Panda Gamer. Hello. I have someone here that loves pandas, and a banana loves pandas. All right, so here's our next question. Name an LOL surprise doll in the Glam Glitter series wearing red and black boots. There is only one. So there's only one possible answer, but name an LOL surprise doll in the Glam Glitter series. Very specific Glam Glitter series wearing red and black boots. Wearing red and black boots, guys. Sushi is so gross. Oh my goodness, I'm not the only person that thinks it's gross. Thank you. Like an avocado, like if we're talking about a California roll, rice is good, uh, avocado is good, cucumber is good. I've even like, you know, been okay with seaweed, especially when I was younger, I was like okay with it, but crab, or even imitation crab, icky, gross, nothing seafood for me, no thank you. So the question is, name an LOL surprise doll in the Glam Glitter series wearing red and black boots. There's only one possible answer. So I see a lot of people saying cherry, it's not cherry guys. I know you guys are thinking of another question that I have. So let's see if anybody got it. Heartbreaker, nope. Nope. Okay, I see one. Let's see if I get another one. Okay, I got two. So the first one to get it right was Kitty Sam's World with Spice. So Spice is who I'm looking for. And then after that, um, Just Your Everyday Weird got Spice as well. So Kitty Sam's World. There you go. See, a lot of people said cherry, so I know you guys are waiting for that other question. And then after um, her was, let me go back up and back down because I'm losing it entirely. Um, here we go. Here we go. And it was just your everyday weird. There you go. All right, that's a long name. So I'm gonna write that down real quick. And I will show you the checklist. So here we go. It's a very short one, but you can see it. Kitty Queen does not, the Queen does not, sugar, and here's spice. Black with red tips, so they're red and black boots. And nobody else has boots that are red and black. And Boots, that's the only one, actually. Those are kind of boots, they're like short boots. But yep, there we go. Nobody else there. So here's our last little question for this one. Never tried sushi. Ruby has never tried sushi. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. But you know, I don't think I would have tried sushi if it wasn't for my dad. My mom doesn't like sushi either, so I probably would have never tried it. Um, thank you very much, Mackenzie. She says, give this video a thumbs up if you like sugar bunny. Give this video a thumbs up if you're having a good time, too. All right, so here is our next question. 
Sugar, what if you can't see our comments? Um, I see all the comments that come in, even the ones that are withheld. Um, so I see them all, don't worry. But um, it just shows up different for everybody. That's why I just pick whatever one it shows up first on my screen just to make it easier. So here is our last little question here. What is the name of the horse in Disney's movie Tangled? What is the name of the horse in Disney's movie Tangled? What is my favorite subject? Ah, uh, I like math and English, but if I had to pick one, I would say maybe English because I like writing. Oh, well don't give up, Jessica. You say you never win anything, you do this just for fun. But you know, a lot of people thought they weren't gonna win and guess what, they've won. They just didn't give up and it takes a little while. You can't win everything, but when you do win, it makes that win so much more special. So just keep trying. All right, so. What is the name of the horse in Disney's movie, Tangled? All right, I see a lot of people coming in with the right answer. I see Felicia loves you with Maximus, and that's number five for you. Loves you. And then the next person is Kika's World. Hi, Kika's World. Kika's World said Maximus. And then I'll keep on reading them so that you guys know the order that they're coming in for me. So after Kika's World was Just Your Everyday Weird, then Erica Ablin, then Totally Descendants, then Kitty Sam's World, then Madeline Darling, then Chloe Davis, then Creepy Weird Mom, then Wild Wit came in with Max, then BVL. Blind Bag said Macamuds. Macamuds. That's his new name is Macamuds. Ruby Caraba with Maximus. Gracie Lee with Maximus. Kylie Sparkles with Maximus. Jessica Starr with Maximus. Anna Banana. And then then they corrected it with Maximus. <laughs> BBL Blind Bags got Maximus. So, um, Oh, Gracie, I know it's probably really late for you, Gracie Lee, but just check back to see in the end if you got into... Um, Yes, I know you think you've got some in the um, month of March, so see if you are in the one of the three at the end there. So, thank you for coming. <laughs> Let's see, Biggs has a master's degree in English. Really? Are you serious? Like a real one? Or are you just messing with me? All right, here we go. Um, there we go. Um, all right, so that was our fourth one for that, and that card is totally done. So we will open up this mini brand five surprise because I saw somebody wanted to see this BBL blend bags because you really like it. I do too. So these are the mini shopping brands that fit in your hand. So I know that you can get like a shelving unit, a cart, and then a hand basket, which I did not get in my last one, but a lot of people, I guess, maybe that's something pretty common. So they were like, I'd rather get more mini surprise brands than, you know, some, you know, items to hold them or something, but I have not got one yet. And this is only my second one, so I'm sure I'll get one. But here we go, our zipper. Maybe it will be kind to us. Maybe it will not be. Here we go. Oh, wow, guys, that's skill. Thumbs up for that because that's very skillful in my book. To get that zipper in one pull, that takes a lot of failures to get that right. I got the whole package right there, all nice. I'm gonna keep that for a little while. All right, so there is no other, oh no, there is, okay, I take that back. There is another zipper. Oh, two for two, two for two, guys. I'm award-winning zipper opener now. All right, so here's the top. You just pull it out and it's gonna open up like one of those chocolate oranges. Or if you sliced up an apple and then all the pieces just kind of fall apart. So there you go. There are two bigger sections and in one of them, this one has our checklist. So we'll open that one first. We're still, there it is. All right, so there we go. And if you have the, um, I have not seen the second series still, the purple ones, I have not got a hold of them. So um, checklist. But you can mix and match. You can take apart the pieces and put pink and blue in there. So, Dove Dry Oil. It's got like all the information on there, like the ounces, you know, size, everything, ingredient list, barcode. I'm actually gonna look that up. I'm curious if that's the real barcode for it. So, I mean, my camera's not super, super focused on all the little words, but you can kind of see they are all there. It's not just scribbles, it's actually the words, and I can see them. So there you go, it's like a two bar pack. There's this side and this side, there we go. 
So dry oil. So I've got a little Dove bar. I'll just set it up there. We'll keep them out. Flipping up the next big one. Oh my goodness, the Chupa Pops. Oh, that's so cool. More cow stuff. Here with my little cow right here. So the Chupa Pops, they have like a strawberry cream and a chocolate cream. I love these. I had some recently, like maybe a month or two ago. So they're not as easy to find anymore, but I used to get them a lot as a kid. They've got like a plastic um, stick and then like it has a little hole in it and I used to always try to make them whistle. But there you go, and it's so cute. And I know there's not any little mini Chupa Pops, which I, when I saw these and I first saw them being posted, I was hoping they would have little mini things in them, but it's just a little piece of cardboard. I did check my Twinkies box that I got in the last stream, and it is just a piece of styrofoam inside, so. But that's super cute, I love that one. Next piece. Oh, I got a soy sauce. So I'm not going to take off this wrapper because I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be on there. Let's see. Focus, focus, focus. Maybe. There it goes. All right. Ah, oh, it won't let me get any closer. Maybe. Okay. So there is a glare for my thing, but there's the Kika Men soy sauce and it's the regular. It's not the light. I think the light's green on top, but that's super cute. And the lid does not come off. I'm like, oh, I have like all these questions for people when I see them post. I'm like, I want to know, like, is there liquid inside? Does the lid come off? But it's basically just as simple as it can be. But it's pretty detailed. So there's the Kiko Man soy sauce. I know there's like a gold one of those. Oh, here's the other big one. Oh, look, I got a grocery cart. So here we go, a grocery cart. That is a lot of assembly. I won't sit here and assemble it. What I'll do is I'll take pictures for you guys and I will post it. So you guys don't have to sit here for another minute or two and watch me assemble that. Cause there's like what, one, two, three, there's about seven pieces, eight pieces, and it comes with instructions. No, it's not that difficult, but it'll take up a little time. So we'll just keep moving on. Oh, tresemme, tresemme, ooh la la. You guys seen those commercials? So Tresemme bottle, again, the lid doesn't open, doesn't come off. That would have been really cool if they'd made that open. Like the little bottle. So it is conditioner. Tresemme conditioner. I like Tresemme. It smells really good. So little bottle. It's really big, though. It's really tall. So it's going up there. So I did get the cart, which is actually the one I was hoping for. I also want the hand basket. And I do want the shelves, too. But I did want the cart because it's really cute. So we are done with that. And I don't know if anything that I got is rare or anything. Super rares are gold. You can see there's the soy sauce, there's a Pez and a Mentos, and then there's glow in the dark. I didn't get any glow in the dark, didn't get any metallic. So everything else is common. So there's my Tresemme bottle. Let's see. I do I did get that um that Bosco, yeah, Bosco strawberry syrup, and I got the chunky one, which is not here, the chunky peanut butter. So there's my soy sauce right there. And I got the Q-tips last time. Let's see, oh, there's the Chupa Pops I just got. And I got the Magnum Vanilla Bars and Twinkies last time as well. So, and then I got this one, the Dove, this time. So yeah, everything else is a common that I got. There you go, there's the cart all assembled in that picture, the hand basket, and the shelving unit. So the shelving unit would be really nice to just display them all. But I'll stuff everything in the cart and do it that way for a little while. There we go. See, my Chupa Pops are already displayed on there. I don't have anything else from, from that rack, but... Alright, moving on. Three new questions, guys. Yeah, these are super cute. I love them. They, I love, love miniature things, but um, I'm so excited for the Shopkins ones. They came out with the ones that are realistic, like the mini brands for that. But they're going to actually have the items inside rather than just a Shopkin that they had from before. It's actually going to be like, say, it's... Um, Oh, what is it like um they had a bag of chips like lays or something or ruffles and it's gonna actually look like that and then they like pop tarts and i guess there's gonna be like a little pop tart in it so there's a lot of different ones they're gonna have and um i'm really excited for those because i want those i got the other ones but i didn't you know they don't have the little mini of the actual brand in it but that'll be cool when they have those so here we go <laughs> oh Hi Jessica, thank you so much for coming. Oh, bummer your phone's gonna die, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And I do look forward to seeing you again. So don't forget to join me next Saturday. So um, you can check my posts and I will keep you guys informed on what's going on. 
So, you can send me some. I forgot what I was talking about. What are you gonna send me? I would love pictures. If people wanna draw pictures and send them to me, I love pictures and I love getting letters. So, if you wanna draw me pictures and send me letters that you write, I would love that. I love to get mail. That is such a fun thing. I've always loved to get mail. So, um, you saw those, I know, Beaver Blindback saw the Shopkins packs and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, the Chupa, Chupa, the Chupa Chupa Pops? Yeah, I've seen them at the dollar store too. Um, my favorite series Shopkins is the Wild Style. I still really like those ones. I like the Wild Style. So, all right, here is our first question for this little set. What cartoon won favorite cartoon at the 2019 Kids' Choice Awards? <laughs> what cartoon won favorite cartoon at the 2019 Kids' Choice Awards? <laughs> Let's guess, let's guess my favorite food, huh guys? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what my favorite food is. I think I kind of know, I kind of just stuck with this one for forever. All right, so first guess in I see, Kitty Sam's World got it with SpongeBob. Oh, my pen said no, I'm not gonna work. But it is. This is a pretty reliable pen. That's why I use this one so much because my other ones like sometimes just give out in the middle of writing and then try to write over my writing and it just doesn't work. So that's two for you. Right after that, uh, see Kitty Sam's World said it and then let me go. Caden's World. Oh, that's a really long name. So I'm just going to do Caden's World. <laughs> You guys will know who it is. So, Caden's World. Good job. You got SpongeBob. So, yes, SpongeBob SquarePants. Got it. They were the 2019 favorite cartoon. All right. And then after Caden's World, I will read off some more names that I saw. Got it. Uh, Amalia, then Wild Wit, then Anna Banana. Um, totally Descended said Loud House, no it was Spongebob, um, Ruby said Spongebob, Erica Edlin said Spongebob, Kylie said Spongebob, Jessica said something but she took it away, uh, Kitty Sam's World had Henry Danger, no, um, Spongebob, Tyra Hall said Spongebob, Madeline Darling said Spongebob, Honey Waffles said Spongebob, so, um, is it a loofah pen? No, it's, you know, I got this last year in the Easter stuff, it's just a regular pen, so like a ballpoint pen. I don't like the ones that are like the felt tip ones. I like ballpoint pens. And I like it better when I'm writing on like a couple pieces of paper thick rather than directly on a hard table. But I don't know. I'm weird. It just feels different. It presses different. My writing's different. Everything. So all right. Here's the next question, guys. Try to conserve text. <laughs> um, all right. What's my favorite dog breed? My favorite dog breed is miniature Dachshunds. Um, all right. What is the name of the deepest place in the ocean? This one was on my website, so if you guys look this up. What is the name of the deepest place in the ocean? I think my favorite food has got to be like broccoli with butter. I really like broccoli with butter. Oh, you said Spongebob. Oh, bummer. Well, I did have the two, so just keep trying though. You'll get it. You'll get it. Alright, hello Amalia. Okay, I see one, two, three, <laughs> the bottom, <laughs> Kika's World, you're funny, yeah, the bottom is the deepest part, but um, it has a specific name, so the first person I saw with the name is Erica Eblen, and it's Challenger Deep, so good job there, Erica, Erica Eblen, Challenger Deep is it. And then next one was Kylie Sparkles, but did you get five? Yeah, you got five. So Kylie did get it, but she's on five. So just your everyday weird got it. So Challenger Deep. Just your everyday weird. All right, there you go. So that is just there you go that's your second one all right so after that i'll read off a few more that had it was grace the toy princess and then let's 
see. Um, oh, it just skipped. That's weird. Sometimes it skips all the way down. Uh, Ruby then got it. Then Honey Waffles got it. Totally Descendant said Atlantis. Ayana Banana said the Mariana Trench. That's, um, it's in the Mariana Trench. Kitty Sands World said Challenger Deep. Wild Wit said Challenger Deep. Then Jessica Star said Challenger Deep. Panda Gamer said Challenger Deep. Bikini Bottom, very good guess, Ruby, that's funny. Um, what is my favorite movie? Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. I really like the Disney movie Up. If we're talking cartoons, Disney movies, kid movies, then it's gonna have to probably be the movie Up. So, I like that movie. All right, here's a JoJo question. Are you guys ready? You ready? <laughs> so I see someone said Smooshy Mushy. So all right, we'll get that one next. All right, so what event did Jojo Siwa go to today? So what's the name of the event that she's at or that she went to? Like, I'm sure she's maybe gone by now, but what's the name of the event? So what event did Jojo Siwa go to today? Does anybody like Alan Walker? Yes, I do. I like Alan Walker's music. Well, Madeline, don't give up. Just keep trying, keep trying. <laughs> slime fest nope she didn't go to slime fest today world tour nope she didn't go on the world tour slime fest nope not slime fest not slime fest she went to it this morning so what did she go to this morning what's it called I see a couple. I see a couple. Let me see if anybody's going to come with the full thing. Okay, so I see a few. So let me go back up. I see a lot of people said Slime Fest. I don't know if she's going to that later today, but she went to something this morning, which I know actually a couple people that were there. Um, I've messaged them, watched their videos, so I know a few people aren't here because they were at that. And then let's see. So the first one in there was Wild Wit with Dance Moms. So Wild Wit 12. Here we go. W I L D W H I T 12. There you go. So Wild Wit 12 was the first one. She's at the Dance Moms tribute today. And then the second one in there was. I just skipped as soon as I moved it a little bit. Um, let's see. Ruby Caraba with Dance Moms. So there you go, Ruby. C-A-R-R-A-B-B-A. -A -B -B -A. Caraba. All right, there you go. So that is our third one for that. And I will show you guys something. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So this week I will have some blind bags that I'll be opening. And let me grab the first one I think you guys will probably like the most. So I got sent some of these from Bullseye Toys. The Jojo Siwa sequin reversible uh, reversible sequin pillows keychains. So I have a few of these I'll be opening. I'm not going to open it right here. So um, I just want to show you guys. So hopefully I'll do that. I'll probably record it today and then post it tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. But there are a bunch of different ones you can collect. So I'm really hoping for like the unicorn. I did see BVL blind bags opened up some of these. They opened up two. And I know that I think Bakes wanted the donut. Mills, I think you wanted the unicorn. You wanted a unicorn or a bow. I think you'd really like any of them, but yeah, if we were picking favorites, those would be the ones I think I would want. So, yep, got a couple of these. I think just by the feel of this one, I think this is a donut. I think this is a donut, you guys, because it feels like there's a hole in the middle. So, <laughs> unicorn everything, says BVL. <laughs> All right, BVL, they're gonna go die Easter eggs. Thank you for coming, have fun. Send pictures. Let us see what those look like, how they turn out. You guys get some interesting kits, I bet. So, bet you they're gonna be like really cool. Probably galaxy, you should do some galaxy ones. Oh, would I rather, would I rather wear tight clothes or would you rather wear loose clothes? They actually asked that in the last live stream. I would rather wear loose clothes, so. All right, here is our Series 1 Smooshy Mushy Baby Besties. So I opened up a few of these. I didn't show any, but I did get the carrot. And I also got um, this little, it's like a poo, like a green poo frog. And I did get the cow one. 
So um, I do have a few of these, but um, yeah, so the series one, and this is for the pink one. What are they? I can't remember. The pink ones, I don't know. They each come in like their own container base. The color is like based on whatever food group they're in. I can't remember which ones these ones. I guess it's just the ones that you see pictured on here. Maybe, I'm not sure. I can't remember, so we'll see. Maybe they'll give us more inside, but here's the little zipper. And they usually come in a big box, so there's like no like hack for this. They're just mixed up. They're not like in any kind of order. But here we go, a little bottle. <gasps> I think it's a duplicate for me. Yep, it is the little frog guy. So there we go. Little frog smooshy mushy. Frog poop smooshy mushy. But it does come with a little keychain and it's pink. And I said in the last live stream, but I love the little colors on these. They're really vibrant. They're really cute. Very pretty. So nothing else. No checklist. It's just the bottle. So little squishy with the thing, no sticker either. So it is really just the bottle, the squishy, and then the keychain for it. So pretty simple, but I think they're like 288, so they're not that much, not too bad. But there we go, that is our blind bag, and we are on to three questions, but I will show you a couple things I'll add. So I actually got another one of these, so I will be throwing this in the prizes there to pick because I had a lot of these and now they all got picked. So then um, I had a few more. So here's a new style design for that. Some Laffy Taffy. I know that I had these a few different times and I finally found another one. So Laffy Taffy Lip Gloss by Taste Beauty. They have so many cute little lip glosses, the containers, the coloring, everything. This is Mystery Swirl. I don't know if it's colored like that. Maybe it is, but um, maybe it's it's gotta be Laffy Taffy's tasting or scented or something. So yeah, it's fly flavored Laffy Taffy lip gloss. So there's another thing. All right, so our questions. <laughs> we got the puddle ice cream today. Is that from um, the puddle ice cream? Is that from the, uh, the Smushy Mushies? Kitty Sam's World, the puddle ice cream? My favorite fast food restaurant. Oh, that's so hard. Oh, okay, bye Panda Gamer. Thank you for coming. Come join me next Saturday if you can. Uh, my favorite fast food restaurant, oh, on the fly like this, I'm gonna have to say, um, ah, it's so hard. Maybe, mmm, Panda Express, maybe? I'm not sure. There's a couple things I really like from there. I would have said McDonald's years ago, but I've kind of grown out of McDonald's. I'm not super fond of french fries anymore. Like I can only eat a few, or I used to be able to eat like a whole bunch, but I know how bad they are for me. So I tried to stop eating them and I kind of just got sick of them. But, um, and then what is my favorite fast food? And then she said, what did she say? I thought there was something else. My favorite sweet, it was Caramello, but I don't know, I think my taste buds are changing and I've got a lot of other candies that I like, but I'll stick with Caramello for now. So, oh, okay, then I'll have to look at the pictures on the box, Kitty of Sam's World, because I'm not sure which one that one is. So, on um, the green, the green poo could be wasabi. You are so right, this could be wasabi, someone just said. Um, let's see, Kayla Craven said this could be wasabi. It very well could be. I mean, this one's not super great made. You can see like that. The other one I have is better. And this is kind of like, a, I don't know, the paint's not super 100% on it, but it very well could be wasabi. I think it, you know, I want to pretend it's wasabi instead of poo. <laughs> so it will be wasabi for us. So it's green wasabi, green frog wasabi. Um, here we go. Question number one for this set of three. It's kind of a question. It's more like a like a statement, but here we go. Name an LOL Surprise Series 3 Little Sister doll with blue and red hair. There is only one, so this one should be pretty easy. And I only know one doll that actually has blue and red hair, so it might even be really easy. So name an LOL Surprise Series 3 Little Sister doll with blue and red hair. Oh no. Um, let's see, my favorite emoji would be the little white sugar bunny. Oh yeah, I was so busy this morning. I saw that you had a thing and I was gonna click on the link but I had to get ready for this so I was gonna do it after this. 
So, all right. So, name an LOL Surprise Little Sisters in Series 3 with blue and red hair. All right, I see one, two. So, all right, the first one was Just Your Everyday Weird with Little Cheeky Babe. So, here we go, Just Your Everyday Weird. You got it. <laughs> okay, that's really sloppy, but... My hand forgot to make a space, <laughs> so it's like a weird R, but there you go. Just your everyday weird. And then I will scroll, okay, yeah, everything's moving. So Tyra Holic gets Cherry. Nope, it's still not Cherry yet, you guys. Then Erica Eblen says, little cheeky babe. So yep, you got it, Erica. All right, so Erica, that's two, and then what else was that? Just your everyday, and that's three on you. Just your everyday weird. So um, I will show you guys right now if I can get it out. There it goes. All right, so zoom in right there, and here we go. Nobody with red and blue hair. Nobody, and down in the bottom. Here we go. You can see it is just right here. Little cheeky babe. So she's the only one with red and blue hair. The only one. But good job, guys. All right, are you ready for a JoJo question? Let's see how well you guys know this. I know I asked one similar to this. Um, it was more specific and it was pretty hard. I remember you guys struggled with it, but this is more general. I think you guys will get this one real quick. So in JoJo Siwa's high top shoes music video, who was the pitcher on the opposing team? Give me the character name, not the real, real person's name, but there's a character name for her. So what is the name of the pitcher on the opposing team from JoJo? <laughs> Everybody heard JoJo question and they knew that there was a question on my website. I see what you guys are doing. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Ooh, just every day where it has little cheeky babe in real life. I think I've got three cheeky babes. She's gonna become customs. All right, so let's see. The question was in JoJo Siwa's high top shoes music video, who was the pitcher on the opposing team? The answer was Miranda Sings. So first one was Erica Evelyn. You got it, you've got three now. So Erica Evelyn. And there you go. <laughs> and then the next one after that is Anna Banana. Anna Banana with Miranda Sings. Anna. There you go, Anna Banana. And that is your fourth one. And then after that, we've got Kylie Sparkles, Ruby Caraba, Wild Wits. Madeline Darling, Grace the Toy Princess, Totally Descendants, and then Kitty Sam's World. I saw a couple other little answers, but um, yeah, they had Cool Cats, and um, then there was like No, and then there's a couple other things in there. Yeah, those were the order that I saw them in, and then, oh no, God, the Sparkles wrote Miranda, then Erased, then wrote Colleen, then wrote Miranda. So, um, all right, let's see, how many questions left? For this little group, one, but in total, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So I'm like halfway. Oh my goodness, I'm taking so long. All right, so um, I will get done with this next question. What is the color of the bunny on my second sugar bunny rock? So I had, oh, Kylie is on her fifth already. Kylie's on her fifth one already. All right, what is the color of the bunny on my second sugar bunny rock? Hoping to get that hidden today. I was gonna try to hide it this whole week, but like I didn't go to somewhere really far from where I am, but. All right, so I'm seeing them come in. First one is Kika's World. Then the second one is Erica Eblin. Then Anna Banana, then Kylie Sparkles, then Ruby. Then um, Anna Banana said blue. <laughs> and then Grace the Toys Princess said blue. Wild Wit said blue, then E Green. The Totally Descendants and Anna Banana fixed it, and then Tyra Hole. So let's see. 
Would I rather eat a cookie or eat a donut? Um, it depends on the cookie. So if it was a cookie I like, the cookie, but if it wasn't a cookie I like, I'd rather eat a donut. So, all right. Um, the first one in is Kika's World. So here we go. All right, Kika's World, that is, what, two, I think? Two new, where'd you go? I'm, I lost it, I lost it. I believe that's two on you. And then the next one was Erica Ablin, and you've got four on there now. All right, so it is blue. I don't have it by me, but it is a blue Sugar Bunny Rock, and I will actually be posting it on my website um, so that you guys can see it. And then, especially if you don't have social media, then it's there so you guys can see it. Um, and I'll post where it is, coordinates and everything, just like I posted my first rock, which was never found or just never posted. So, um, yeah. But then I also post it on my social medias and on the community tab of my channel when I do it too. So you can check there as well. All right, so we have another blind bag to open. So we've got Guardians of the Galaxy, the Star Trek, the Crossy Roads, and then the um, Captain Marvel or Captain America. Here, it's Captain America by by Marvel, um, the Hero Clicks. So, what shall we open? Let's see. Make Peeps Marshmallows out of bunnies. They make Peeps Marshmallows out of bunnies. Oh, they don't make them out of bunnies. They don't make them out of bunnies. They make them out of marshmallows, but they make bunny shapes. So, um, let's see. Ruby says, can I ask a question at the end? I will see how many things I have because I did accidentally have those extra two, but I will see. So, um, possibly, just remind me right at the end there. Um... No, they're not made of bunnies. That would be really terrible. That silver rock with the blue bunny. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Superhero blind bag. Okay, so the superhero one. So this one, the Captain Marvel. So, okay, if you guys saw my posts, I posted a video of it, and I actually posted um, a... Uh, I posted a video, and then I posted the little things. I think I did. I know I posted the video, but I think I posted the thing. So these are at Target. Now, um, they have like the boxes that you find the things up at the front by the trading cards. They have those, a lot of the things like the JoJo things that I just showed you, the sequin flips, they have them like in a box and um, they're just blind bags, but they are normally up there. And these ones I found back in the toys and they came in a box like that, but it was completely black and it had like a dollar symbol on it. So it's like from the manufacturer, they probably got them sent back to them or they mailed them just directly from their factory at a discount because look, these were only a dollar at Target. They had a whole bunch of different kinds. Like these were a dollar, those were a dollar, this is a dollar, and that was a dollar. So they have a whole bunch of different kind of blind bags for a dollar. They're mostly, I want to say, if you want to call them boy blind bags because they're like superheroes and stuff. Um, there's nothing cute like JoJo or like squishies or anything, but Crossy Road, I guess, you know, it could be kind of like considered for both. So, but again, they're mostly for boys stuff. So, um, but they are only a dollar each. So if you collect anything like this, then it's a great deal. Just keep checking your target for them back in the toy area. They might even put them up in the front, but that's where they were at mine. So these are, they were, or they are limited edition, but it's Marvel, the Captain America Civil War Hero Clicks contains a pre-painted collectible miniature game piece for this foil pack, so one of them. Collect them all. So on the back you can see there's Black Widow, there's Iron Man, there's Captain America, and then there's Ant-Man. So I don't know if there are different um, ones other than that, but um, never opened one. But here's a little hole, so you might be able to peek in if you shine a flashlight. I just grabbed one, guys. They were a dollar. I just grabbed it. But um, I know there's like a game. I actually looked it up and saw like there's people that play this game. So um, I mean, if you collect these, then it's a really good deal. So. I'm going to save as much of the bag as I can. And my scissors are on my lap. So there we go. Alright, so here we go. Alright. So, I'm not entirely certain who this is. 
I'm gonna say it looks, it looks like Black Widow, but I don't know that it is because it doesn't exactly look like her. So I am not sure, you guys. All right, so I figured it out. There's a card. It's Agent 13 from S.H.I.E.L.D. So you can see it's this game piece thing. So, um, you like, I don't know how to play the game and stuff, but this turns got different numbers for different things. This looks like a complicated game. I bet it's really easy when you know it, but to learn it, I bet you it takes like a lot of practice. So I don't know. I don't know what all these things mean, but if you play this game and you like them, or if you just like the little figurine, you might just want it as like a little collectible just like that. So this is Agent 13, and I'm trying to think because I have seen the movies, but I don't remember <laughs> Agent 13 is that bad. So yeah, there's the bottom. Nothing spectacular, but that's the top again. So here is the card. It's a little bit bent in there. I don't know, but Agent 13, basic training. I've got to maintain my cover, due process, plasticity, combat ready, combat reflexes. I'm doing what is right, willpower. You won't know who to trust. Agent 13 can outwit. She may use it to counter team abilities. Point value 50. And the other side is have to improvise, perplex. I'm perplexed. This game looks a little hard. So there you go. That is what that looks like. So that's a really good deal for those if you've been trying to collect those. So go out there and get yours before they're all gone. You can buy a whole box for what you probably would have paid for like three or four of them. So, all right. So someone said you could make a custom out of Cheeky Babe and make her into an ice girl. Hmm, that would be a good idea. Oh, sorry guys. Let's see how much time is on that. All right, so I gotta listen for that. All right, so we are on to our next three questions. Are you guys ready? Oh, just your everyday weird so they want a uh, Hobbit hero clicks from a claw machine. That's really cool. I do have the Hobbit hero clicks. That was um, one of them that was a dollar too. So what do I film on? I film on my video camera, which is a Sony. I don't know the name of it. It's just a Sony video camera. <laughs> Um, I used to use uh, my cell phone, my iPhone, for this, but I figured out how to do this. It was a little bit hard. I had a little mishaps, trial and error, but then, um, yeah, I finally figured it out. So, oh no, Mackenzie's battery's at 3%. Um, all right, so here's our next three questions. We'll get through this. Um, let's see, that is already used. All right, both sides are used. I need to get rid of this card. Okay, here it is. What is the date Easter falls on this year? So give me the month and day that Easter falls on this year. So what is the date that Easter falls on this year? My favorite pet. Ooh, that's so hard. I love them each for something unique. They each have their own personality. It would be so hard and I can't tell them. I can't tell them my favorite, then each person, each, each one would be jealous. Each person, I almost called them. Each puppy would be jealous. I don't know. I don't know. I had a girl that was very special and she would have been my favorite. Um, her name was Scarlet too. That's why I have one of mine is Scarlet, but that one was my favorite. So it's one that's already passed away. That was my very, very favorite, I think for all time. So, all right. What date does Easter fall on this year, month and day? I see Grace the Toy Princess says 420 of 2019. Not quite, almost. Um, totally Descendant says April 21st. That is correct. Erica Evans says 420. Kylie Sparkle says Sunday, April 21st. That's correct. But you got five. So Just Your Everyday Weird came in there right after. So April 21st. So the two that got it are Totally Descendants and Just Your Everyday Weird. Totally. Oh, let me pull this back. Totally Descendants. And then just your everyday weird. All right. And that is number four for you. All right, so my, oh. <laughs> do I want a bunny? That's a, that's a hard question, yes? 
you have to do. <laughs> um, but I can only take care of so many animals, so I've got to limit myself. All right, next question, guys. Name an LOL surprise big sister from the Series 3 Confetti Pop dolls in the Athletic Club. So it's, there are four different things that you could give me. I'll take any one of them. So name an LOL surprise big sister from the Confetti Pop Series 3 dolls in the Athletic Club. All right, I see one. And, <laughs> all right, there you go, I got two now. All right, so the first one that I see is Anna Banana with Shortstop, and you've got five now, Anna, good job. So Shortstop is one of them, and I'll show you guys in just a sec. Anna Banana. And then the next one, I saw a couple spelling errors. I see Spintis. And then, um, spurts, <laughs> and then I see sprints by Just Your Everyday Weird, and that's your fifth one too, so good job, Just Your Everyday Weird. Oh, my finger's stuck. Alright, there you go, Just Your Everyday Weird. Oh, it's kind of filling up, let's get them down a little bit. All right, so Floppy Ears Bunny. What's Floppy Ears Bunny? See, Cherry, you guys still haven't come to that question yet. <laughs> All right, so um, the different answers were touchdown, sprints, shortstop, and spikes. So here we go. There's the athletic club. There's touchdown, sprint, shortstop, and spike. So there you are. All right, here's your next question. Um, how many questions left? Nine, ten, ten. All right, in Disney's movie Pocahontas, what is the name of her hummingbird friend? It's a very short name. So in Disney's movie Pocahontas, what is the name of her hummingbird friend? Yeah, that's totally okay, just your everyday weird. Go ahead and do that. You can keep on answering just for fun, and then if I see that you've got it, I'll just let you know, and then I'll just keep going from the next ones. But it's always fun to guess, so don't let that stop you. Oh, it's very tricky because I thought it was this and then I looked it up. So I see a couple people that um, have kind of have it, but it's, it's, let's get the actual name. So, all right, I see one, two. Okay, so you guys, the actual name is Flit, like F-L-I-T, Flit. I see Flick and that's what it sounds like in the movie, but the actual name is Flit. So the first one to get it was Kylie Sparkles and she's got the five. Madeline Darling, you got it. So, oh, Madeline Darling. So there you go, Madeline. It is Flit, F-L-I-T. Madeline. And then the next one was, let's see, Wild, Wild Wit said Flick. But then Madeline Darlin again said flit. Madeline Darlin again said flit. Um, Mackenzie Walker said flick. And then Faith Martineau said flit. So there you go. Faith, you got it. Faith M A R Mar Martineau Mart. And I'm trying to spell it right. N E A U. All right. Okay, there we go. So, all right. Yeah, I was hearing it as Flick in the movie as well. So, um, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um,. I don't want to put anybody on a time out, but I will if we're not friendly, so let's keep it friendly, guys, okay? I'm monitoring this, I'm watching this, so... Um, Alright, so that was our third one, and we are on to a blind bag. So we've got the Crossy Road, Star Trek, and Guardians of the Galaxy left. 
And I got one other thing. I will be adding this Cento scented pen. It's got 10 different scents and colors. So there they are along the side. I think my favorite would be like cotton candy and grape. And like one of them's like, I think that's like a, it looks like, okay, this is the grape. This is like a blackberry. So yeah, um, it kind of looks like a watermelon guy, but yep, this will be added to the prize package. So you can select that if you wanted to. All right. Um, Crossy Road, or Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy first, but then I read it in the wrong order. I started reading it from the bottom of the top. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, then we'll do Crossy Roads, then we'll do Star Trek. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of something real quick. I think it went, okay, there we go, there we go. All right, so Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 dog tags, one dog tag and one sticker. So I know that these were probably like four, five or six dollars when they first came out, but look at this, a dollar. You can't beat a dollar and it's from Bullseye Toys. So they sent me a lot of great stuff, but this I got at the store. So this is another one of those things that was in the boxes. They each were full. It was a full complete box of just this stuff, of just that stuff, of just this stuff, of just the other things that I posted. So everything, full box. You could totally get the full series if you like them. So it says collect them all. There's 24 base tags, 24 foil tags. There's a one in four chance of getting that. Four 3D tags, which is a one in 24 chance. There's 24 base stickers. 24 foil stickers so I really like Groot I like Rocket they're funny to me I, I like the movies I like the movies so especially oh my goodness if you've been to Disneyland um, California Adventure then they changed the Tower of Terror and it's so funny when you walk in there's a little scene that they do and it has uh, Rocket in there it's so cool so um, other than that I don't think that there's like a hack for these so but I mean they're only a dollar you could buy so many um, let's see let me get down to the other side so I can cut the bottom. All right. Love Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, this will probably end up going into the prizes you can pick. So here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one I might have to keep for a friend because they absolutely adore Groot. So here is the Groot sticker. Sparkly, super cute. He's like a little Groot. I am Groot. But that is so cool, so pretty. I mean, this is this is almost worth, you know, you go to the, the quarter machines right outside the stores you're leaving and you put 50 cents in and get one of these. So you've already made 50 cents. Sometimes they're a dollar even. So that's super cool. Here's our checklist. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's see who we got. Oh, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. So she's kind of hard to see, but maybe I'll take her out. Maybe it's on the back. Okay, now it's, and this is dog tag number 29 of 48. And it's metal, so sometimes I know it's like plastic once you get it, it's just painted like metal, but this is actually metal, so, and this is metal too. It's a nice, thick, good dog tag. So, I forgot her name, <laughs> I totally forgot it, but it's that girl and it's glittery, so I don't know if this is like the special tag or not, but oh, but I will look. We'll have a look at it. It looks like it is. All right, so we've got all the regular ones there. I'll get closer. So there's Rocket. I forgot her name. <laughs> but it looks like I have this one, number five, but it's not. It's the next one up because it's a glittery tag. So I think I got one of the one and four ones. Groot, that would have been a cute one. I would have liked to got that. So here we go. All those. Another pretty cool Groot one. Another cool Groot one, I'm kind of just going on to Groot. There's Groot. I wouldn't have wanted that. That's kind of just their symbol. I don't know. Some of them are like, eh. And that's it. Why does it say look for special 3D tags? That's the end of our checklist. It doesn't even tell us. So I'm going to assume because of how all of these look and because of the numbers, that this is one of the special foil ones. So let's see, what did it say again? It is the foil tags. Yeah, there's 24 foil tags. There's a one in four chance. So I grabbed a good one, guys. I got the one in four chance. So, uh, and I got a foil sticker. So I got a foil tag and a foil sticker. So that was really good. So, I mean, for a dollar, that's totally worth it. Especially if you like the Guardians of the Galaxy, you just kind of can't lose with that. And at a dollar, you could buy a couple bags. So your chances are pretty good to get something awesome like this. 
They both have that same kind of background. So really, really cool. That I'm very satisfied with. The Hero Clicks, I'm like, eh, because I don't collect them, I'll be giving it away. So but that, I do have a friend that likes Groot, and I'll see if they like that other one too. If not, then I will put it back into the giveaway prizes. So, um, oh, bye Mackenzie Walker. Well, thank you for coming. I know a couple of people's phones have been dying. This does go on for a little bit. Oh, it's Gamora. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> it's not even looking over that way. But um, yeah, um, it's Gamora. Yep, that sounds very familiar now. So um, she is so pretty. She is really pretty. I love that character and the person in real life. She's gorgeous too. She's so pretty. They didn't really do much to her except for just color her green, but she is, she is beautiful. She's a very pretty person. So, all right, that leads us on to our next three questions. Are you guys ready for this? I am ready for you guys. So let's see, we're on this one. All right. Name a LOL surprise doll in the Glam Glitter series wearing an animal print top. I know you guys have been waiting for this one. Name an LOL surprise doll in the Glam Glitter series wearing an animal print top. All right, first one I see in there was Erica Abelin <laughs> with Cherry. So, Erica Abelin, that's on your five. There you go. All right, and then the next one, Kylie Sparkle said Cherry. She's on her five, though. Just Everyday Weird, you got that, too. But you're on five. And a banana. Are you on five? Yep, you're on five. Kitty Sam's World says Cherry. All right, so you got it. Kitty Sam's World, you are only on three. So Kitty Sam's World got it with Cherry. And then after that was Wild Wit. Then Grace the Toy Princess. She forgot a Y, but she said Cherry. Then Caden's World said Cherry. Total Descendants guessed Cherry. It was right, but we came a little after. And then Grace the Toy Princess fixed it at Cherry. So um, Kitty Sam's World, there you go. And I'll show you guys. All right. So Glam Glitter. Here is the checklist. It's the small one. So, no animal print top. No animal print top. And right here, here we go. Animal print. It's like a cheetah or leopard. So, leopard or a cheetah kind of animal print top on cherry. So, there you go. Next question. <laughs> Someone just said, what's this? And they retracted. It is a Blind bag, unboxing, and live stream giveaway. I'll be asking questions, and if you're one of the first two to answer correctly, then your name gets entered in this. At the end, I draw a winner. And then this is the end of the month one, so I'll be putting all the names that I got from the month of March into one bunny and then drawing three winners. So that is what this is. Oh no, Anna Banana said this may be her last sugar bunny giveaway. Why? Why can't you come anymore? That would be very sad. Thank you, Anna Banana. That's a very sad message. Hmm. Yeah, I do have more questions, just your everyday weird. We still have two more right now, and then after that, we have six more. So, um, all right. In my last live stream, what kind of food was the Smooshy Mushy Bestie that I got? So I opened up a Smooshy Mushy Bestie bag. What kind of food was it? You guys remember? That was in my last live stream. I opened that Smooshy Mushy Bestie and I got a food. So what kind of food was that? <laughs> write it out guys, write it out. So I got it in a bag. <laughs> Keep guessing, guys. I see someone got it, but they've got to write it out. You've got to write it out. Write out the name. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> nope, it's not a pickle. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, good job, good job. Keep going, guys. All right, so here we go, I've got three now. 
Um, so the first one to get it was Madeline Darling, and she actually got it way up top. She put an emoji. So that's why I kept saying write it out. But then she went down below. Kylie Sparkles wrote orange, and right after Madeline Darling wrote, or Darling wrote orange. So Madeline Darling got it, and then right after that, Kitty Sam's World wrote orange. Wildwood, no, it wasn't a lemon, it was an orange. So Madeline Darling. <laughs> Darling. So there you go, Madeline Darling. And that, I think, is your second there. So good job. And then Kitty Sam's World got it right after with orange. So Kitty Sam's World, that is number four, I think. Yeah. Kitty Sam's World. And there you go. Oh. All right, so Anna Banana is starting soccer class on Saturdays, maybe. Well, that's really good to get out and about. Don't worry about the Sugar Bunny live streams. You can always come and see them after. Um, and then, yeah, I should probably vote and see what good days are good for you guys. I do like Saturdays in the kind of early day part just because then I still do have time afterwards, whereas in the nighttime, I'm, like, pretty tired and I usually end up going pretty late. So, um, but, yeah, so... That would be sad, but then at the same time, I'm glad that you'd be getting out and playing a sport that's so much more important than this. Trust me. It is very, very, very important to get out and have fun that way. I was actually outside playing yesterday. So, um, yeah, some, some neighbor kids asked if I could come outside and play, so I came outside and played. So, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm like that. We played uh, soccer and football and then um, badminton, which is kind of like tennis. So... Let's see, maybe you can make room. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to see what time works best for everybody too, so. One of my best friends at schools goes by Cherry. Oh, that's so funny. So I guess it's not her real name. I, I'm sure people do have the real name Cherry, but yeah, that's probably not a super common name. Oh, totally Descendants has to go. Well, thank you for coming. You guys know I appreciate everybody that comes and it's really fun to have people here. So thank you so much for coming. All right. Um, you work on Saturdays. You work on Saturdays? Oh no! Oh man. Um, not enter the live stream giveaways, but not. I'm allowed to enter the live stream giveaways, but not the other one. Okay, I'm not sure. You mean like my. Which one? What one are you not allowed to enter? I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me. I do have the sticker one still going. It's good until this live stream closes. So if you hadn't yet, you can go comment a would you rather question over on that one. And I have to use my phone for my music today. So I'm not able to look at my would you rather questions, which I wanted to do. So I'll have a lot for next time though. So um, I don't have any miraculous questions. Nobody commented what they wanted me to ask in the next live stream. And then I just kind of through questions in there so we have one more question for this um, set and then um, we'll have six more questions after that so um, I actually know seven because I do have that bonus so uh, here it is what is the state flower of Al Alabama I almost couldn't say that I was almost reading the answer so what is the state flower of Alabama I think I might have another Nickelodeon question I think I'm not sure so what is the state flower of Alabama? All right, I see one, two, three. All right, so first one I see is honey waffles with camellia. So honey waffles, there you go, you got it. There you go. And then the next one was Kylie Sparkles, good job. And then Grace the Toy Princess. There you go. Good job, Grace. You are number three there. And there you go. So I know it's almost teasing you guys, but I'm gonna show you just, these are sneak peeks. So I also have some of these to open. So I'll be opening these this week in videos. So watch for these. These are squishums. Um, squishies, they're poo shaped, but they are different little designs on them, as you can see. 
and I love these. They always smell really good and they're really good squishies. Another thing from Bullseye Toys, so, and there are different ones, they're really cute. I've seen a lot of these, so I'm not sneaky, I smell like chocolate and you can find the rare magic unicorns, which we always like, so it's just funny. It's got a little toilet paper roll on it, so very cute. So there's another blind bag. You will see me opening this week, so um, let's see. Uh, let's see, just to everyday word, won the last sticker giveaway. Only but five, would you rather it's in this, but with more fair, um, but still have a chance to win. You can always put as many as you would like, you know, don't worry about it being fair. Everyone has like the same odds of winning if they all do 10, so, but that's really very sweet of you. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, someone's bestie lived there. They live in Alabama. I've never been to Alabama myself, personally. I've never been there. But here we go. So we've got the Crossy Roads we said we'd open next. So this is another dollar item. So they hold them to the Crossy Roads. And I know I opened up one of these. I got one from, I think it was um, Party City, like over a year ago. And I remember I got this like little, what was it, paparazzi coffee whale or something. I don't know that I've ever played Crossy Road, but I'm assuming it's kind of like Frogger. But um, out of these, I don't know if I really like would collect any. The chicken's kind of cool. I think that's maybe a horse and a wolf. But I mean, just they kind of look weird. But I mean, if you like the game and you know about it, there's a dragon that's kind of cool. The snail is kind of cute too. But I mean, I probably won't keep this. So this will end up in the giveaway. But let's keep the box nice. I'll cut it, cut the tape in case. I'm like one of those people, sometimes I collect the boxes. I might have to do this off camera so I don't like scare anybody with what I'm doing if I can't get it right away. Yeah, I'm going to do this other side off camera. Closer to me is easier too. But if I slip, I don't want to freak anybody out. She's going to cut her hand. No, I'm safe. Oh, see, like 3D comes at you. All right, so it comes in a little blue bag. And again, I don't think there's going to be like a hack. So I definitely got something different this time. Yay, guys. I think it's a snail. No, it's not the snail. I don't know what this is. Okay, so, okay, it looks like a basketball player. I think this is a little orange cube basketball. He's got some gym shorts and like a tank top on. So, does this leg turn or is it just kind of crooked? No, it doesn't turn, it's stationary. So, little basketball player. I don't know what relevance this has to the game. So if you guys play it, maybe you do know. But there you go, little basketball guy. So. I don't know, does he hop across the street? Does he try to cross it? Or is like he a distraction? Maybe he throws a basketball as you're trying to cross the street and it can hit you and take away a life or something. I have no idea because I've never played it, but he can sit there and watch us open up more blind bags. He used to play that game all the time. What is with the Crossy Road basketball player? Which video? My very last live stream video, the March 23rd one. So each time, each week, I'll offer, um, if you guys want to enter, I'll have a sticker pack. I'll either have one that I am for sure giving away or two that I am um, letting you pick from. This week, it is a choice between the unicorns or the kitties and puppies. So um, I'm not sure what I'm doing for this next week's one, but um, when this video posts, this live stream you're watching right now, um, you can go comment on it, a would you rather question, that way I can ask them in the next live stream, hopefully. I can, I had an issue, I have another phone that I was using before to do my um, music and stuff, but I had an issue with it, so I have to take it into the store to get it fixed. So, I can't use my phone to look up my, uh, my would you rather questions, so. Um, yeah, that's why I don't have them for today. But yes, that is how you enter. And I do post it on the um, social medias, which I know you have, Kitty Sam's World, and then on my community tab too. So. Um, yeah, that's about it, but, all right, we are on to three more questions, and I do have something else to show you guys, which actually I'm going to have this week. I ran out of something that I needed to make it, and so I'm halfway done with one of them. The other one I'm completely done with, but I'll show you in a sec. So, um, he's the character that you can play as if you unlock him by getting lucky blocks. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so questions, yes. All right, so here is another question. How many Kids Choice Awards has JoJo Siwa won? Just give me a number, guys. How many Kids Choice Awards has JoJo Siwa won? All right, I got two people already. The first one in was Honey Waffles. Um, Honey Waffles said three. Kika's World was the next one in, said three. So here we go, Honey Waffles.
and I believe that's two Anya. And Kika's World. And that's three Anya. All right, so next question. I'll read off a few more to let you guys know. Um, Kitty Sam's one said five, then Amalia said one, Kylie Sparkles said three, Just Your Every Day Weird said, I don't know. <laughs> I knew just because I'd known she'd already won two and that she won another one. So um, Ruby Carava said three, Wild Wit then said three, then Kitty Sam's World said three, then she said four, then Ruby said five, then Madeline Darling said two, then Ruby said four, Face said three, then Christina Port says hello. Hello, Christina Port, and welcome. So um, all you got to do to get entered in the giveaway, Christina, is be one of the first two to guess with the correct answer. And it is that simple. So it'll be this one. And then because you're at the very last live stream of the month, I have another um, drawing right after this drawing. But it's in the same stream. So there are four chances at winning if you get an entry in there. So um, there you go. All right. So here's our next question. <laughs> Hello, so many toys. All right, what ocean borders the edge of the east coast of the United States? What is the name of that ocean? What ocean borders the edge of the east coast of the United States? What ocean, guys? <laughs> you guys are like, why are you schooling us, Sugar Bunny? Why? History lessons. This you guys definitely should know. All right, so I see one, two, Three, four, five. See, five people with it at least. So I will read it in the order that I got it. So, so many toys says Atlantic. Yes, so many toys. It is the Atlantic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean borders California. So that is where I was a lot. I've only seen the Atlantic, I think, once. Even though I lived in New York, I didn't live right next to the ocean. In California, when I lived there, I did live next to the ocean. So... Um, the next one was Kitty Sam's World with Atlantic. So yes, good job. And that is on, that is your fifth one. So Kitty Sam's World, here you go. Oh, there you go. And I will keep reading them. <laughs> Hello, so many toys. Let's see, John Paul Gorian. Hi there, hello, are you brand new? Oh, it's, it's so funny because I scrolled over the emoji and it says blush. <laughs> so, um, there you go, hi there. And then let's see, so Kitty Sam's World's Atlantic, then Kylie Sparkles said Atlantic, Grace the Toy Princess said Atlantic, Kylie Sparkles said Indian, Christina Port said Pacific, and then Wild Wits said Gulf of Mexico, Madeline Darden said Atlantic, Honey Waffle said Atlantic, Faith Martineau said Atlantic, said woohoo, you got at least one <laughs> and you're very late, Law. Well, you know, it's better late than never, I guess, and I'm always late to everything. I try all the time to be on time, and every time I'm like, I'm going to be on time this time, and something always, always comes up. Like, I have so much going on, so much to do, it's just, it's crazy. If you guys only knew, be like, wow, yeah, so. All right, here's our next question. Thank you so much, Wildwood. You're super sweet. She said, Sugar Bunny is the best. Hello, Arcade Adventures. I recognize that symbol. That looks so familiar. It's very, very cute. It's a little cute bunny there eating a lollipop on a purple background. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. She said, smash that like button if you haven't already. It looks like this, kind of. It's a like button. So, all right, here's our next question, guys. Oh, Sugar Bunny Hops, too. Okay, okay, I got you. You changed your name. All right, so here you go, guys. In Disney's movie Cinderella, what was her carriage made out of? This one's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. So before it was turned into a carriage, what was it? What was that object? Cinderella's carriage, what was it made out of? That's who you were. <laughs> this is your favorite YouTuber. Who, Sugar Bunny Hops? <gasps> That's so sweet. <laughs> All right, uh, first one I see in there was Arcade Adventures with Pumpkin, then Honey Waffles with Pumpkin, then Amalia with Pumpkin, then Gully Sparkles with Pumpkin, Grace the Princess with Pumpkin, then Wild Wit said Pumpkin, then Kika's World said Pumpkin, K K Kitty Sam's World, then Ruby, then Just Your Everyday Weird, then Faith. And so let's go back up. Um, Arcade Adventures, there you go. Adventures. 
And then the next one is honey waffles. There you go, I think that's your third one there. All right, that was our third one for that set. So we've got three more plus one bonus one that I've got. So and let's see, I've got a decent amount of little things left. So we've got one more blind bag to open. We'll open that in just a sec. I will show you, let me see, I'll show you something that I'm gonna do this week. So I did post on Instagram about this. Um, I showed you guys two purple Jojo bows. Do you guys remember that? Um, I said I was going to be doing something I felt very inspired by and then I also showed you guys some stars now if you guys saw Jojo at the Kids Choice Awards um, you will you should remember that she had this jacket that had stars all over it so I got an idea and I decided to make my own Jojo bow and here is one of them so I will be giving this away it is a purple bow just like the clothes that she was wearing so she had like a purple shirt and purple pants and on the pants there were like this um like i want to say like these just uh, gemstone strips right at the pockets and somewhere else on it i think it was like there was more pockets on the pants so that goes along with it and then there were different stars colors there were light colors and um, more darker glittery colors and some of them had gems on it so i made this two giveaway so kind of is out of focus in focus I'll take a better picture of it so it's orange blue purple green pink and silver yellow and then yeah you can see the gemstone so this is the mini one I do have a larger one I ran out of glue in the middle of my project so my larger one's halfway down I've got half the stars on it so um, I'll have two winners there'll be a big bow for the first prize winner and then this will be the run for the runner-up so um, yeah so I don't know if I ruined the bow or if I, I just made a cute bow, but yeah, I think someone will be like, oh my gosh, you ruined that bow, but you know, I just made it, it's custom. So um, yeah, but I will be giving this away. I'll be posting about it probably tomorrow. So how to win it. Um, and yeah, there you go. So that will be something I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruby. Thank you guys. I think a lot of people like it. That's good. Thank you guys. So the other one has bigger stars on it. So because it's the mini bow, the smaller bow it's not a mini it's a small bow um, it has the smaller stars but the bigger bow has the bigger stars and that one I think has less you'll see less purple on it so um, Anna Banana is wearing the purple and blue cloud bow oh okay I thought you were gonna wear your panda bow I thought that's what you meant before so um, your friends but you could not help yourself to come on this is your favorite part of your weekend that is so sweet arcade adventures well I hope you're still paying attention to your friends and having fun because that is also really important to have have real life friends like right there with you that you can share memories with so that's really sweet for you to come on so I'm glad you guys like that I feel better about it I was like ah I always second guess myself so so much you guys have no idea but all right here we go Star Trek Chibis, so three pack. I know that I've opened up some um, Animal Jam Chibis, but this is another bullseye toy thing that was in that dollar thing, the dollar boxes. So Star Trek's really popular and it really surprises me that they had these, but I guess maybe Chibis weren't so popular to the Star Trek fans or maybe they just got them out late. I don't know what the reason is that they had to put these on the super sale, but there's a lot of characters here. We got Chekhov, Captain Kirk, McCoy, Scotty, Spock, Sulu. Those are a lot of ones that I know. Khan, Gorn, I'm not sure about Gorn. General Chang, I've heard of that. Chappelle, and then who's this? I can't remember her name, but I know her. Is it? I don't want to say it and be wrong. Uhura, Uhura, I, I've always had trouble with the name. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who you are. Are you just not a Klingon? Not a Klingon, no. I can't remember. What is this guy? Who are you? We're going to have to pull it off a little bit to see. Oh, of course, it would tear twice. All right, here we go. Okay, it's... Talosian, Talosian, okay, Star Trek fans, up out, it's Talosian, so Animal Jam's your favorite game, oh, they're helping you answer the questions, very cool, thanks, so um, there we go, but oh, look, it says, look for the blue or gold glitter anniversary chibis, so, um, yeah, these are only a buck, I grabbed more of these than anything else because my mom likes Star Trek, so I didn't know if she'd maybe want these, but it's like, I think the 50th anniversary, it's trying to tell us right there, so, Let's see who we got inside. 
All right. Oh, I found. <gasps> what? No way. Okay, I had to grab this one out first. This is Spock. And so, what do we have? This a gold, gold glitter anniversary. <gasps> I wonder how rare this is. I wonder what the odds are of getting it. It didn't say on the box, but it's mostly clear, see-through, as you can see, translucent. But it does have that glitter gold. And Spock is a very popular character. So my mom loves Spock. I loved Spock growing up. And so yeah, this is a super cool one. Great for the first pack. I mean, come on, look. So like if you want to break it up, it's like 33 cents for each one. So we got him and then we got the, I think he's a bad guy. I'm pretty sure he's the bad guy. One of the bad guys, there's multiple. So it's kind of unique there. I forgot what his name is. We'll check it out again. What is your name? You are General Chang. All right, so he's got his eye patch and he's menacing. Nothing moves, so it's stationary. No arms or legs or head move. And then this is the old guy, Khan. Is Khan? No, I don't think Khan is Spock's father, but he does look like he's Vulcan, maybe? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe he is. I can't remember, like, I knew all these. Like, I know this is familiar to me, but it's been just so long. So Khan, there we go. He might be a bad guy, he might be a good guy. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, the glitter one's so pretty. So, I would say this was a great bag. I mean, the, the glitter one, and it's Spock. I don't know how many different characters. Hopefully this will shed some light. Checklist. All right, <laughs> we didn't even have to look at the bag again. So, it comes in huge. Chekhov, General Chang, Gorn, Khan, Kirk. I was gonna say maybe the silver means that they're bad guys, but this I know is not a bad guy, so. Oh, I just dropped it. All right, so, okay, maybe you can get any character. Look, there's Spock, but it's not glittery. Maybe you can get any of these characters in gold. So maybe you get like one per pack. I don't won't know until I open more. So maybe you can get one gold, gold or glitter per pack. Cause it does not give you like, like the randomness. I'm looking, oh no, no, okay, I lied. Take it back. Um, it says, I threw away the other part. Let me grab it real quick says, approximate odds, one in two look for randomly inserted blue Star Trek chibis, one in four look for the randomly inserted clear glitter Star Trek chibis. So it's one in two chance of getting a blue one, one in four chance of getting a gold one. So pretty good odds, 25%. So I did pretty good, but it's Spock, so that's really good. So all right, that is our last blind bag and we are down to our last three, but I do have a bonus question. So four questions. And it keeps glitching. Oh, Ruby, have you tried refreshing? Oh, he's Spock's dad. Okay, thank you, Kitty Sam's World. That's what I thought, but then I was like, wait, I don't know. Check Lady C would love those. Tell her, yeah, I was, uh, I want to, I, I try to send as many things to the group chat as possible, but yeah, I'll have to tell her. Or you tell her, we could tell her. Um, but yeah, the dollar at Target. So, and I do have pictures of the boxes, so. That was the last blind bag, yes. So, um, oh, Kate Adventures, thank you. She'll restart the video, yeah. I got, um, I opened up a JoJo bag first, and then I opened up, um, I think the mini five surprise, no, Moj Moj. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff. So here's one thing that was in there. It's pretty cool. Boop. Oh, it's missing. It's missing, he's inside there. Come out. There it goes. So there, that's one of the things, the Moj Moj. I think that was the second, the Moj Moj Min. So all right, here are three questions, guys. Here we go. Yep, this is it, okay. So, what is the capital of the state of Wyoming? What is the capital of the state of Wyoming? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right, I see one, two. <laughs> I'm not sure where the numbers are coming from, but. All right, so Grace the Toy Princess, you got it. It is Cheyenne. So Grace the Toy Princess. There you are. And then the next one that got it was Honey Waffles with Cheyenne. And that is number four for you. 
Let's see. After that, I see Arcade Adventures at three. I'm not sure where three came from, but Just Your Everyday Weird said Cheyenne. Kylie Sparkle said Cheyenne. Arcade Adventures said Cheyenne. Kitty Sam's World did. Wild Wit said it. Ruby just took back what she said. I wasn't sure what it was. Madeline Darling said it. Faith said it. Then Amalia said it. So let's get on to our next question. Name the two LOL surprise dolls in the glitter series wearing big bows on top of their head. There are only two dolls that are wearing great big bows, not little bows, great big bows, like JoJo wears. So name the two dolls in the glitter series club that have big bows on top of their head. Name them both, please, both of them. Um, I don't... I don't have another Nickelodeon one. I did ask them all. Sorry, Ruby. I probably will have some in the next live stream too. So study up on your guys' Kids Choice Awards. All right, so let's see, name them both. All right, I see, I see one. All right, I see one, two. Three for sure, four for sure. Okay, so I'll have a couple in case some of them have five. So the first one I saw, I see Diva, but we now have both. So I saw a couple people with Diva, four of them, and then I saw Just Your Everyday Weird, but she does have five, so um, Diva and Fancy was right. Then I saw Diva and Prankston. No, it's Diva and um, Diva and Fancy. And then uh, Diva and Prankston, nope. And then Diva and Fancy from Ruby Caraba. So yes, you got it. Ruby Caraba. There you go. And then the next one was Grace the Toy Princess. Was that five on there though? Let me see. Where are you? Where are you? Nope. Okay. So Grace the Toy Princess. You got it. <clears throat> Toy Princess, and I'll show you guys. It's a smaller checklist too, so. Here we go, so the Glitter Series checklist. You can see it right away, boom, boom. Nobody up there, and then there's Fancy and Diva, both of the big old bows. She's got little bows, she's got little bows, but we were looking for the great big bows that were difficult. This one was so difficult and then you guys taught me the trick. Thank you so much for getting it on her head very easily. You had to like squeeze her head before you try to put it on. I just kept trying to push it in. But she came on a headband. So it's both big bows. So there we go. All right. Um, let's see. Last question and then I'll do my bonus question. So here we go. In Disney's movie Brave, how many brothers does Princess Merida have? It's so weird that you guys were answering numbers before. <laughs> that one is a number one. So in Disney's uh, movie Brave, how many brothers does Princess Merida have? <laughs> All right, I see Queep, <laughs> Creepy Weird Mom says three, then Kika's World says three, and that is correct. So after that came Arcade Adventures with two, Kylie Sparkles with three, Arcade Adventures with three, Wild Wit with three, Grace with seven, Just Your Everyday Word with seven, Kitty Sam's World with three, Arcade Adventures with four, and um, yeah, and a lot of other numbers. So, but the first two in there were Creepy Weird Mom. And then next was Kika's World. There you go. All right, so that is my last question, but I do have that bonus question. Now, I know that somebody remembered this and they reminded me of it, so I decided to ask it. So, in my last YouTube live stream, what jelly bean did I say I would not ever try from the Bean Boozled? There's one jelly bean that I will never try from the Bean Boozled. <laughs> I see it, I see it, guys. So I will never, ever try this Bean Boozled Jelly Bean. It's too gross. Too, too gross, you guys. I like the buttered popcorn one. 
but that's not a be well, it might be a bean boozle, but it's not the gross flavor, which it sounds weird, but it's actually really good. So, um, vomit, I would actually, I'd rather have vomit other the, other over this other one. I would, <laughs> I would take vomit over this other one. I don't know. I would vomit if I had to eat this other one. So the first ones that I see were Kylie Sparkles. She's got five. Then Ruby says canned dog food. Let me see. Ruby Caraba. You don't have five yet, so we will get you in there. So Ruby Caraba. All right, um, and then next I see Madeline Darling with canned dog food. Yeah, and then just your everyday weird, then creepy weird mom, then Kika's world. Yeah, but um, next one was Madeline Darling. And I think Madeline Darling, weren't you thinking that you were never gonna get one in? I think you've got a lot in there. That's why we never give up, right guys? Just keep trying. So this concludes this weekly one. So I'm gonna shake it up, draw one winner out, and that one winner will receive a choice of 15 of my blind bag prizes um, or the little prizes that I do put in there that I don't open that are just um, little prizes I throw in um, and I'll send you pictures or one Jojo bow and I'll send you pictures of the ones you can choose from but if you're international you do get the Amazon gift card um, and then I will go ahead and put all these into my other bunny which I have all the names for my other live streams through the month of March in and I will draw three winners out of that. Now, if I get a winner that is um, one that was already drawn from today, that's okay because duplicate winners are allowed for that, but you can't win more than once in the monthly giveaway. So if I draw the same name out again, I will pick another one. So all three of the monthly ones are different. So um, I think that it pretty much explains it. If there's any questions at the time for something, then I'll go over it then with you guys again. But I did write it down in the comments below too. So um, if you do happen to win, please remember do not write your name um, and any personal information in the chat here. Um, don't put it in the comment section at all. Um, make sure before you contact me that you've been given permission from an adult to send your personal information because you need to be safe. So sometimes they're not okay with it. So um, yeah, and how to contact me is down in the description box. Um, you can email me at um, sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com or you can message me on Instagram. I don't check my Facebook or Twitters. I do post to them, but I don't check my messages on there. So Instagram or email is the best way. So um, here we go. Let's draw one winner out of this one, and good luck, everybody. And I'll start new next month, and then my background will be changed, and everything will look different. So, here we go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. All right. Madeline Darling. Congratulations. Congratulations, Madeline Darling. Um... You have won. And I believe you said that you were worried that you weren't gonna get any in, and look at that. So never give up, guys. That's a perfect example right there. Madeline Darling, congratulations. You have won this week's live stream giveaway. So there we go. Um, I'm so sorry, Ruby. I was reading that at the same time, so you saw me guys pausing right there. Um, how about you message me, and then we'll figure out your question, and then we'll put it in the next one. All right? So I'll let you ask it in the next one. That way I can make sure I know the answer too. I totally forgot. I was just busy trying to explain the things and I didn't even look at the chat. I'm so sorry, guys. So Ruby wanted you to ask a question and I've already drawn it. But um, yeah, we'll do that next week, okay, Ruby? Message me. You can write it in the comments or are those two, two other ways you can contact me. I had to get a drink. Just give me one sec. <clears throat> okay, so we've got to put all these into this one right now. No, I have to cough. <coughs> yeah, dry throat. So, I don't know if it's going to be easier. I think it's going to be easier to just open this one up and throw them in that way. So, the prizes for this one are different. So, I do know it's Madeline Darling, so I'm throwing that one in there. And then all the ones from this week as well. And here we go. My bunny. And I'll have to shake it up good. As you can see, there's none down there. We have got them all in. 
and here we go. So the prizes are a little bit different um, because I only have a limited number that I have um, and I will run out if I don't limit it. The prizes for the three winners that I draw right now will be a choice of 10 prizes each winner um, rather than 15 for the weekly one or a Jojo Siwa bow and the same thing for the international. It would be a $10 gift card if you are international. So. Um, you have a week until I start my next live stream to claim your prize. So that gives a good amount of time because I know a lot of places or people only allow like 24 to 40 hours, but I will allow until the next live stream and it will depend on the um, order that I draw the names in, um, which um, order the people are allowed to select the prizes in. But if it takes too long, then I move on to the second one and then, you know, whoever is taking long might get to, um, contact me before the end of the week and might end up being the last one. So it just depends on how I draw them out and who contacts me first and whatnot. So here we go. Good luck everyone. And um, here we go. Hello Jasper. Welcome. You send your info. Um, oh, two of them shook out. Let me put them back in. I was wondering. Send your info to me. It's down in the description box on this video. But um, my email is www.sugar, or no, that's my website, sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com or um, at sugarbunnyhops if you have Instagram. Okay, here we go. There's just so many in here. All right, so going down in the middle. Okay, I think I've, oh, I got one. Okay, so Faith Martineau, congratulations. I hope I said your last name right. So Faith Martineau. Congratulations, and you are one of the three. So let's get number two. <laughs> good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay, here we go. So many toys. Congratulations, you are winner number two. All right, we've got one last winner. Fingers crossed, everybody. Good luck. Oh, okay, I shook out three, so let me get those back in. <laughs> it's not a fill-safe little container. I liked it because it was a bunny, and I just got the idea to use it, so if I see any fall out, we'll throw them back in. Here we go. Down from the bottom, and here we go, pulling one out. Squid Punk. So congratulations, Squid Punk. I have the three winners. It's Faith Martineau, So Many Toys, and Squid Punk. So contact me regarding, oh, I was going to try to balance them, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> contact me regarding your prizes. It won't balance because it's not shaped that way. So um, there we go. And then also, what was the other one? I know that I know I can look back, but I'm drawing a blank right now. So the other one that was my weekly one as well, but I know that you were here and you were trying to write to me too. So congratulations everyone. And this bunny will be emptied. We will start fresh. So the whole month of April, I will be doing the live streams every Saturday and I will collect all the names at the end of April, whatever Saturday falls upon the last before the end of the month of April. I will be doing another one of these where I draw out three extra winners on the last Saturday there. So. Um, if you want to, um, when this video posts, because once I close out this video, I'll be looking at all the comments and I'll be getting the names from that and doing the drawing. And I will let you know who won one of these two prize packages of stickers. You get to pick one. Um, but if you want to win a prize pack of stickers, just don't forget when this video posts to go and comment some, um, would you rather questions? That way I can do some in the next live stream. And um, I will post what kind of sticker pack, if it's one that you get, or if it's a choice between two that you get. Um, so yeah, that is about it. And I think our time here is done today. Um, someone fell out. I'm looking, I don't see anybody that fell out. This is paper for the uh, instructions. There's nobody else that fell out around here. Nobody else. Nope. No other people. I promise you guys. There's nobody else that fell out. So, uh, yeah. I think that is it. And I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your day. Um, I might get on Roblox for a little bit. Not sure entirely. But, um, yeah. Look for me to be on. So, um, 
I'll see you guys next Saturday. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you so much, Anna Banana, for your donations. Really appreciate it. And I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed everything here today. And I hope to see you next Saturday. Bye, guys.